week. I've got a wig that looks great. Go. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you all so much for coming out to Misty Mountain Streaming here with the Edge of Knowledge. <laughs> Campaign set in the mythic greek inspired world of theros monsters gods beings the underworld all crazy stuff no. happening wild stuff all the time uh, crossbows got some crossbows got some crossbows oh and yeah fun fact those existed. crossbows yeah. existed in greek times they exist yeah astrobody's nuts dude <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. So, right. I'm so sorry so never uh, apologize never apologize before we get into introductions with everybody, um, we just have a, a couple of uh, announcements here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, hello, everybody. Oh, My yeah. name is Dan. Uh, uh, I, Dan. I, hello. Hi, Dan. Hi, Hi. everybody. How's it going? Uh, and I'm pretty good. <laughs> this is great. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you can, I am the DM. Uh, you can find me at Dan DM James. Um uh, Tons of great stuff uh, for uh, our announcements for this week. First and foremost, we have our stream scheduled this week. Obviously, of course, if you're here on Tuesdays, it's Theros, baby. So we're going to have a grand old time uh, romping through a mythical world. Uh, tomorrow, we have our What Lurks in the Dark, our Lovecraftian winter horror-themed campaign run by uh, our none other than Cheesecake Panda cosplay right above me here. Right. Uh, so tune in, if, if you, if, tune in if you want a little bit more horror Lovecraftian style. It gets real Ooh. sweet spooky um and thursday we have uh the search for the spell forged a retake on the lost minds of phil 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 Van Dan Delver. Van Delver. <laughs> i can't believe i keep You're getting it great, wrong buddy. i'm so proud of you <laughs> the lost minds of Van Delver, a full retake open world style run by the DD wannabe you know him rob it is Yo. fantastic take uh so go in and check it out uh there won't be uh two nerds play this friday um but that'll be continuing uh, ideally next week as we have our full stream schedule uh looping back through uh Obviously, of course, we want to pay attention or at least draw attention to our follow goals. Uh, you can see right there. Uh, it is for the Shield Maiden subclass created by the D&D wannabe Rob. Uh, it is a fighter subclass that is heavily focused on shields. Uh, based uh, in old uh, Nordic uh, fighting styles, all that great stuff. A full subclass will be available to uh, all of our members of the Discord community, which, if you're not part of it, uh, be sure to tune in for Misty Mountain Gaming. It is an incredible uh, community to have. Tons of great art, uh, tons of news, uh, all of these amazing people to interact with. But the subclass will be available there if we hit our sub goal this month. As you can see, we're at twenty. We're at twenty-eight to forty. So wow, uh, we're getting there. We're getting pretty close. So we are getting there. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then, obviously, of course, we also have our clip of the week. So if at any point during the streams uh if you find a moment that is funny clever uh heart-wrenching whatever moment uh, strikes you in that uh you can use the clip feature on twitch uh which is the little movie clacker symbol there uh it'll take the take the last two minutes of the stream uh you can edit whichever parts you want uh and it posts that not only to the twitch channel um but uh these clips will get collected and uh our team at misty mountain gaming will look through all the clips and they will choose uh one particular clip which will be designated the clip of the week uh <laughs> It'll be advertised on all of their socials, uh, post it around everywhere. You'll get full credit for the clip, as well as a dope title in the Discord community as well. Uh, so if you find a clip that suits you, uh, go ahead, get it on there. 
and uh, we'll see if you get selected. And it changes every week, so you might be able to maintain your title mm-hmm. uh, as Clipmaster uh, or it's not claim your title. title. Thank you for the cheers. Um, uh, thanks, Sam. Thank yeah. you. And by hey. the end of the year, all of the Clipmasters must fight each other to the death. Yeah. 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 Legal or not, ever in your favor. Wait, what was that, that one thing Tucker where people all again. of the same name met and fought oh, over the course yeah. of like four years? Kyle or something Jacob? like that? I can't remember. It was like a it was a white boy name. It was like a yeah. Facebook event, right? And then like yeah. a child one. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> and, <laughs> Jason or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you have four years to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> you have this much time. Uh, also, we want to give uh, some big, big shout outs to uh, groups of new followers that we have. Uh, thank you for the uh, subscribe. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, tons of new followers on here. So we want to give a shout out to J Cars, Levin Rack, Fighting Drag, You've Got Cal, Bezzy UK, Tomate. And the Nordic Geek, uh, appreciate all. Of... <laughs> appreciate. They got it. They got it. <laughs> oh, uh, they somebody got it. finally. <laughs> <laughs> as well as all of the channel cheers. Thank you to Sheep is Lamb, uh, Death by Snoo Snoo, and Eric Bra for all of the channel cheers. Uh, great stuff. Uh, and Death for... by Snoo Snoo, you're just here for all my big ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or maybe they are a big lady. Do. Who knows? As well as most recently Ooh, uh, with Dabs uh, gifting a sub uh, to members of the community. So we appreciate all of Thanks, you. Uh, and our hearts uh, are big and wide for all of you. So we thank you all so much. Uh, and last but not least, uh, happening soon, uh, we're going to be having uh, some giveaways uh, here. Uh, what? And, and, what? Uh, Crash, if you I mean, want I had no idea. To potentially show <laughs> what the prize of said giveaway uh, is going to be. Mm-hmm. And Cheesecake Panda Cosplay, if you would also like to show. Yeah. So we have uh, two things, one of which mm-hmm. is something from the company and one of which is something that <laughs> Crash made. And just to give a little, like, introduction into this crash had a great idea a couple of weeks ago that we do character themed giveaways of like dice and something that match it for our different characters and we're gonna start with deo so go ahead so i'm calling this the theros tray or the atlas tray so i don't know either Uh. one i think it's fun but this is a Greek temple themed dice tray with a bull statue in the middle for mm-hmm. Iros and Mojis from so MTG beautiful. Theros lore. It's cool as hell. I love them. Uh, but yeah, so little impractical for the bull in the middle. I don't care. He's cool. It's a temple. <laughs> Have fun. Everybody needs to know before but I yeah. show you the set of dice. Before I show you the set of dice that you will win with that if you win. Um, yeah, J- like Crash printed that and painted it and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, to match Deo, we have our red glass set of dice. They're my favorites. Here we oh, go. You? Yes. So I love good. them so much. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Deo first. We'll yeah. follow possibly with Vessi after because I already have her set of dice. But regardless, if you want to try to win it, we're going to do a giveaway next Tuesday stream. So... Same oh, bat wow. time, same bat channel. You just got to come back and watch. Yeah. Come back and, and if watch. you win it, I will physically fight you so I can have it. No. <laughs> that's what <laughs> happened. I won it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I just thought it. it'd be I will cool. Offer, if you guys win it, I will also offer, because I have the set of dice on hand, if you want me to get these blessed by Vexy, who <gasps> uh, made friends with five new people at the vet today, <gasps> I'll let oh, her bless good. them for you. That's yeah, such a bonus. Out- little turd came out for the front desk ladies because they wanted to see her and she comes out there and just goes <laughs> ladies <laughs> you ray love. love her you stand a queen but yeah so tune in next week and just by chilling and watching uh we'll probably be doing it either at the break or at the end of the episode either way we'll figure it out uh also but- stay for this one yeah or you can stay for this one it's cool as well stay for all i think them. we're pretty rad for the most them, part. Yeah. Uh, Tell your friends. Yeah. Tell all yeah. of your friends. So you can win the dice tray and the red serpentine glass dice that I really love a lot. We get them up nice and close. Yeah. So pretty. They're so freaking cool. I love these little guys. They are pretty, really, pretty much. Really, <laughs> they are pretty, really awesome. cool. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, and second place note. will get Ellie to fly to wherever you live and challenge you to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. our next Knuckles, goal. Baby. Yeah, like if you win, you get to all the fight girls me. will be flown out to different winners and will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Maddie, because she's precious and must be protected. Oh no! Yeah, I'll, Maddie. Maddie. Yeah, I'll fight. fight all of you. You don't even know. Yeah, my Maddie's strength. the MC and also the champion. <laughs> If you touch Maddie, you're gonna get double whoop ass because I'll come to your house too. <laughs> That's you gotta be careful about that. Well, That's how we do a giveaway on this channel. We That's threaten exactly you. How we... <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> um, crazy and wild. Um, so crazy. tune in for those giveaways. Uh, exciting stuff. But uh, with all of that uh, said and done, um, let's just do a quick. A uh, quick round of intros. Uh, probably should have done that. Which uh, probably should have done that first. But um, <laughs> moving through, uh, people you all know and well. Uh, why don't we just go around starting with uh, Maddie Moselle? Oh, oh, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Yes. Wow, <laughs> Maddie. Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I play Pixie, who is a little satyr gal and a bard, and definitely doesn't have any sort of warlock tendencies at all. Nope, no, never. No, not at all. No. And uh, maybe one day, I was telling people in chat last week, maybe one day you'll unlock her backstory. <gasps> Ooh, okay, uh, wait. I'm good. But I like that Sprinkle just said, if you fight Ty, you also have to fight her rats, and let me tell you, <gasps> they will win. True. Wait, oh. what's that boss from Bloodborne, the Royal Rat Authority? Yeah. <laughs> that will just, just pop up in no. the bottom of your can vision. You, can what's you that not Pokemon? Just imagine me. Rat <laughs> Can you not imagine me though? Like, if this is the rat, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll let Maddie go back to her intro because I just got no. This I, is I important. This is very but like, important. can you not imagine me like running up to somebody like in this big of a jacket and just kind of being like, "All right, here we go," and just like tossing the rat. Yes. What's that, that Pokemon that's like a uh, like a fighter jet and it launches smaller versions? Oh of yeah. Oh, uh, oh god. Dragapult. <laughs> Yeah, Dragapult. I, I love Dragapult. And then the little part. ones love <clears throat> being launched. Yeah, that's like, like they want to be. So they like, settle like, on their backs. Okay. He, already likes, he already likes if I throw her. She likes to be <laughs> yeah. okay. She's training. Exactly. But uh, uh, to, to stay on brand, what my favorite Pokemon yeah. is Raichu. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's everybody me. share their favorite Pokemon. I've been asking strangers like in my day to day oh, life. It's uh, it's hard. Right. Uh, speaking of, why don't we go to you, Crash Candy Cosplay, and you can hey, talk about your yeah. favorite Pokemon. Oh, resident Master. Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I can prove it because I have all these Pokeballs at my desk. Wow. So yeah. many of them. I also I have, have an Ultra Ball. My goal is a Luxury Ball because those are the I best. I have my Charger too. That charger is so oh, Have you seen good. the one that's a Pichu, but it like stuff. it puts yeah. its cheek to the phone and it charges it? Yeah. It's so cute. I have a little auto -watch. So cute. But I am on a D&D &D channel right now. <laughs> However, I am a Pokemon master. And my favorite Pokemon is Skarmory. And I don't think Ooh. it gets enough love, and I think it deserves a mega evolution. Uh, I agree. Miyamoto, if you're listening, I would love <laughs> that. But, but uh, I play Deo in this campaign. He's a little scamp and wannabe Spartan and a tiefling rogue. He and, would have uh, a Skarmory if he was He a would have a Skarmory! It makes sense. That would oh, be wait. so cute. We gotta now pick Pokemon that all of our characters have. Oh, oh, oh Smeargle for Epixie. <laughs> Smeargle! That's such a good idea! Aww. What about you, Crash? What would your oh. character be? Pokemon? Oh. Like my favorite or Deo's Pokemon? Deo's Pokemon. Oh, why can I see him having? Why can I see him having a Geo dude? Like to just like. <laughs> that that is pretty funny in theory. Or you uh, could make him a bug catcher kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a youngster Joey Check out type. My six caterpillars. <laughs> yeah. I uh, love wearing shorts. They're comfortable and breezy. Right. <laughs> uh, going through, why don't uh, Nick, Nick Friedson, why don't you go into What's your, your favorite Pokemon, Pokemon? Theme? This is the part oh, of my right. intro well, where I get uh, tea because I realize this is just hot water. <laughs> oh, um, God. Staying on task, I will continue with the. Uh, digression. Um, <laughs> my favorite Pokemon uh, that I guess that Solstice would be would probably be Eevee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, I can see that. Especially yeah, it branches into Keon. so many. It branches into so many. <laughs> and, <laughs> she yeah. just goes, it branches into so many. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, it would be Eevee. The um, Pokemon. Branches into so many, so many possibilities for Solstice. You've already seen one. Um, <laughs> it's going down Espeon. quite an interesting. This is Espeon. A, a, any, yeah, Espeon. as we do. And um, I play Solstice. Uh, she is a Hexblade uh, Warlock now. Um, uh, you can find me at, at Nick Friesen on Instagram. Um, do some fun D and D reels there, and also post theater shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that. Hell yeah! And going through yeah. uh, Cheesecake Panda cosplay, <laughs> we got to find out some Pokemon's from you. Go off, Queen. No. <laughs> yeah. okay. I think we all need to get tiny hands. We really yeah. do. And you need to I want the one that turns your hand into like a chip. I don't, so I you don't want the feet. Eh. You need the, the feet. The feet are too. a crime. That's you a crime. Have, no, you have to have the feet. Let me get the foot it. while I talk about Pokemon. So, <laughs> like you do on a D&D &D stream. So, let me, I guess let's go ahead and say hi. I'm Cheesecake Panda. I play Vessi. She's our cleric. Here's our foot. She's a water <laughs> um, Here's your foot. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I hate she. Here's, here's our um, foot. Our foot. Vessi, our communal yes. foot. Yeah, <laughs> our oh, communal I don't want foot. it. <laughs> You see, it's Guys, I'm starting to think foot. Ellie likes feet. <laughs> oh, look, look, at look at that little Look at that face. Oh, not not me, oh, Scully, where I can oh, buy my oh own my tiny goodness. ears. I don't like this. Just get it to go away. Hey, wow. Ty, what's your favorite Pokemon? Yeah. Nope, that's oh, it. Right. That's all Ty gets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like Bulbasaur, but I also like... Excellent uh, taste. I also like Lugia. And mm -hmm. I really... I like Flareon a lot. He's my favorite of the Eevees. But... I also love Gyarados with my whole heart, and yes, he would have a Gyarados. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Absolutely. That literally perfect. Yeah. So angry. It has to be Gyarados. <laughs> yeah. Can you also? Someone said Dea would have a Riolu. I kind of agree. Ooh, I that would it. kind of fit. Mm -hmm. I see that. Uh, and then last but certainly not <laughs> least, uh, LED and D uh, on the topic Hi. of discussion. Hi. That's oh my sorry, my boyfriend's giving me pizza right now. Um, wow. I'm making pizza, I my friend. Love it. We're, we're all over the place tonight. I, I have pizza. We're so on task. <laughs> the, door, <laughs> the door just opened and I'm like, hello. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm Ellie, Ellie D and D. If you go on Instagram right now, my name is Ellie Open D and D because uh, we support our third party creators, uh, as many of us are, and keep D and D open. Also. Um, I play Mimi, and I oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to, my my two favorite for me are Snorlax, and I love Don Fan. Like Don Fan's my boy, especially the prehistoric Titan Don Fan. I have one. His name is Donovan, and he is best boy. Donovan. He's my little. He's my little tank. Um, I I wait. Feel please like... tell me you've seen Copper Raja. I have not. <gasps> it's a Am big I... tarnished copper elephant. It I starts I'm... off copper and orange, and when it evolves and grows up, it's like bright green. Okay. It's I so I actually... cool. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I have seen this one. Okay, I sorry. I'm also the, uh, yep. Pokemon Scarlet's the first Pokemon game I've played, and I dedicated my life to it. And then got a new played... trainer. Claus played so Professor happy. Sada. Um, for Mimi, I think she would have a Gardevoir, just because like she's Ooh, like an elegant bitch, but she'll work. cut you. <laughs> or like a yeah. Gallade. <gasps> like the oh, more aggressive yeah. version. Hold it's up. like is the Gallade... one that's supposed to be the boy version. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I play Mimi. She's just looking for love, but also she would never admit to that shit. So don't tell nobody. <laughs> don't tell nobody. We get it, girl. Well, 20 minutes into the D&D stream, we have veered. Yeah, shout out to but Dan guess what? for trying. Oh, okay. Dan. 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 What is your favorite <laughs> Pokemon? Dan, what is your favorite <laughs> Pokemon? Uh, Deoxys. Ah, that nice. is such a Dan favorite. And Pokemon. Let me know, I don't know how to say that. That, that makes sense. Space and I like space. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> See, Deoxys scared me as a child. Truly. I love it now, but it it freaked me out. Uh, oh. well, <laughs> its battle theme is also scary. Ah, uh, wow. 
jumping in. Uh, I think it's about time that we. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't yes. handle Dan my hands. Dan is like, I'm, I'm running out of ways mind. to ignore Tyler's yeah. hands. <laughs> Here. It's, Here, let it me can get the big, the big ball. Come on, you can hold them, hands. You got you this. You can hold them. <laughs> the big... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start crying before we've even started playing. Oh, right. Tiny well, hands are peak guys. humor. <laughs> Man, it's as as uh, as Daddy Dragon eighty four put uh, rightfully. So get distracted by shinies. It would not be like any other D and D community. So, true. so <laughs> I think it's about high time we jump back into some D and D here. What do y'all think? I would love yeah. to do that. Let's get Wait, through. this isn't a Pokemon stream? Nope. It's D&D. Oh, I got a no. silly goose. Last. <laughs> I choose you. Yeah. Go. Last where we had left off. Our I gotta, hero. I got to get ready. I got to get ready for notes. Give me a second. No more one sex. Hi. <laughs> get in the oh notes. My gosh. <laughs> Tyler, I, I've never I, found a reason to kill you before. Genuinely. But I'm quickly finding one. <laughs> genuinely, if you take accurate notes with those hands, I'll be greatly impressed. <laughs> I just did my makeup and I'm crying. <laughs> This is Continue. off to a great start. Laz, I'm order some tiny where we had left oh. off, our <clears throat> heroes were face to face with Zene, the Harpy Queen, and her mm. army of harpies. They yeah, had and she was hot. <laughs> she, she was really was hot. She was hot. hot. She was stunning, <laughs> and gorgeous. Much so like hot. all of our players, she very much liked her shinies. So she was <laughs> all into that. Uh, and She's a material girl. she certainly material was girl. and our <laughs> heroes were starting to take advantage of that uh, left and right weren't able to get past up through battling off killing waves and waves of harpies dropping dead in the waters uh, that Smash would be <laughs> shark infested waters had they not been convinced to go away uh, earlier uh, and they had since uh found a moment in which they could corner the Harpy Queen after threatening uh, to destroy her nest and all of her things. Uh, and soon after, our heroes had made quick work of Zene, the Harpy Queen, fulfilling uh, the, the um, favor for Alrin, the Oracle of Thassa, who will aid them in guiding them to the location of Dalikos, the master invent inventor that they saw in their vision of the task to come, to find an island unseen by both mortals and gods alike. So, we jump back now to that moment. The Harpy Queen dead in the nest, lying in wait. And the waves of harpies that have been killed, several of them dropping into the sea. Uh, and before you uh, lies a giant, um, a giant mass of treasure that uh, had been amassed by the Harpy Queen uh, resting uh, in front of there. And so, um, you all successfully completed this favor, this mission. Uh, the bubble uh, that had brought you all here is still remaining. Uh, Alarin had stated that it was going to be up for the next 24 hours. Uh, so uh, you are all welcome uh, to do uh, whatever you'd like in this moment. I'll also let you know uh, that all of the sharks uh, have since returned uh, and they are now all just yeah. currently sw swimming in the water right now. <laughs> Um, oh boy. Uh, Dale, uh, you said you wanted some daggers, so uh, I'm pretty sure there's some <laughs> daggers in the, the treasure pile. He's still, like, in the same place he was when he cut her head off. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like... <laughs> With a bandolier oh, of oh, daggers. Oh. You know, I... I oh my oh, already... god! There's probably a lot How more daggers to me. That? that was so cool. That was really cool, cool as shit! You How did she like do that? Hero. I mean, you I think? Got, got thrown into the middle thanks to 
thanks to Mimi, so that just kind of... She's got a great <laughs> arm, right? Oh, she really does. Yeah, yeah. I do want to say that was... Oh, wow! It's the little that was pretty... Her wow. Fading. As the little fasces are fading away, you can see that, like, some of them are going up to, like, the bodies and just kind of, like... Like, on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> They're fading away. <laughs> There's weird little freaks. Hey, no, let me do this in character, because they're tidy. So they're going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. So, Dale, that was really, really amazing. And congratulations. I, I know. <laughs> I, I know you know. Yeah. Of course you yeah. Know. You that, that's know. how we do it back home. Is it? You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I'm loving a pixie rose. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> like, standing back and like definitely proud of him and letting him just like have his moment. <laughs> and I'll turn around and immediately just like, and I would like to uh, pluck one of her little sharp feathers off mm -hmm. and Ooh. braid that to the other braid of my hair. Just gonna cut your and neck. a feather. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's cool. Does, so will this tooth, probably. Does uh, does the harpy queen, um, <clears throat> uh, is, is, what's her name? Zenies. Zene. Zene. Got it. That old pronunciation. <laughs> Zene. Um, does she have talents? She. Uh, she does. She yeah. Talents? Whoa. Can I break off a few of those? Absolutely. Ugh. Cool. Just cutting um, off her fingers. You're declawing uh, the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes. hey guys. Um. Yeah. Once we're once we're finished dismembering, can we feed them to the shark friends? That's oh, a yeah, great I idea. Mean, I mean, we just think it was really nice like... of them to like leave. I know yeah. I kind of tricked them, but I want to actually give them something so they're not, like, hungry. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather them not be hungry for us, so great idea! Okay, but I'm gonna let we gotta them leave know. the queen here Yeah. to let everybody know. Send or we message. could feed the queen to the sharks. But uh, she's sharp. She's no, gonna she's all sharp. Besides, don't you want to send a cool <laughs> message? Imagine, like, Kateus and his goons come over and they see that we <gasps> killed Zene the Harpy Queen. That's true. He's not gonna how fuck with know, us. How, do, how would they know that we did it? I have a better idea so that we can actually show we did it. And she's gonna start, like, plucking out all of the sharp feathers and also, like, taking the head and, like, putting it on, like, a spike kind of thing. So she's, <laughs> oh taking, all the, so she's taking all the sharp do. things. I read a book about taking that once. The, <laughs> taking all the sharp things so she can, like, pass them out so that everybody has their own sharp <sighs> feather to be like, hey, look. <laughs> but... Nice. <laughs> we can prove it. Listen, I didn't get to play Dorian for long enough. I have to get this out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, looking around, mm -hmm. do I see any... Very cool Daggers. looking weapons in this treasure, nest. Treasure, treasure. I want a treasure hunt. My thing. Um, on first glance, you don't see any weapons, but you do see that there are tons of different stuff uh, in here. May um, I look for things? Uh, you absolutely may, and I'm going to go over this uh, entire list uh, that you see before you. No check required. Um, oh, boy! So this is all, it's because it's all just splayed out in front. It wasn't, there was Woo! no, like, hiding of these items. They were all just amassed in one giant pile. It's on display. Uh, nice. So you, there are roughly uh, 342 um, gold pieces. Uh, there's about seven uh, gemstones um, that are worth 10 gold pieces. There are three gemstones that are worth 50 gold pieces. And then there are four gemstones that are worth uh, four gold pieces. There's a couple of mundane items. You see that there's uh, a couple of different like sketchbooks uh, as well as um, like these like old star charts. Uh, as well. Uh, you see that there are several, uh, there are two potions of healing, uh, oh, as well yes. as uh, what looks to be a spell scroll. Um, uh, only for Ooh. a cantrip, it just seems like it's just for Booming Blade. Um, yeah, it's a good one, though. <laughs> there's, uh, there's also, you find that there is a potion of greater healing. Oh. 
as well as uh, and these next three items uh, appear the most uh, unknown uh, to all of you. Um, one looks to be this elegant uh, sort of wine bottle uh, that is sort of inscribed. I want it. Uh, with... <laughs> Uh, it's this sort of, like, you see it's this, um, purplish, uh, reddish wine bottle, uh, that is inscribed along with this imagery of a lightning bolt that is sort of just, like, scanning its way through across, like, around the bottle. Um, there appears to be a small, um, little, uh medallion that looks like uh, a sort of regular um, shield uh, and there appears to be this uh, these there appears to be this uh, boots these pair of boots uh, and on the side of them uh, there appears to be etched on uh, these little wings oh. Very nice. I'm just picturing a Deo that can fly. Deo, do I feel like you should have the first pick of anything you'd like? Really? You you did the job. Oh man. Okay. Uh. Aha! I'm gonna pick up the wine bottle. (laughs) (laughs) Can I uncork it and see what it smells like? Uh, She's going to zap you in the face. Uh, You you, you uncork it, uh, and it smells like... um, It smells like... I want to say almost like a grape jam in terms of its smell. Um, But it is still smooth like wine. Uh, But it's very sweet smelling uh, that you get from it. Ooh, I apologize, streamers. Looks like yeah, and you're allowed to do this when you kill something cool. Are you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ha! So, so sorry. We had, we had paused. Not... We had paused there for a second on my Discord. I think it was frozen for a sec. Uh, <laughs> it was right after the the wine oh. bottle thing. We should be oh, back. Yeah, we are frozen. Yeah, he picks up Pat Solstice's arm and just says, "No, no, I let him learn on his own." <laughs> Bessie's gonna chime in and just Bessie's gonna chime in and just be like, "You die from that. I'm not helping you." I'm not gonna die from one sip of wine. Okay, they give it to everybody. I back don't home. think it's wine, but okay. Oh, Deo hasn't heard about that one guy. How do I feel? So, so Deo, you had a sip of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, you feel extremely refreshed. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> What does it, it taste is... like? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes way better that? than anything at home, though. Hmm? Um. It's, it's really good. Ipixie! Yeah! <laughs> Hand it over. I take a swig. You feel uh, insanely refreshed. Oh, wow. Awesome, right? <laughs> Is it like a monster energy He's not drink. exaggerating. <laughs> it's really, it's good? Here. Yeah. Okay. Victory. Um, honestly, because wine tastes awful. <laughs> In the background, like any of the bodies we've looted, Mimi is just launching into the water for the sharks, by the way. For sure. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, while, while Mimi does that, can I actually uh, connect telepathically with Finn real sure. quick? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hey, buddy. Hey, so, uh, what's, listen, listen, what's, listen. Pixie, what's happening? Because, like, listen, we hey, were, hey. What? So, what happened? It sounds like the blood feast was canceled. The but, blood feast was canceled? What does that mean? The one that you guys were headed to originally? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't worth it, anyways. They canceled it. So, I we're don't know toss what canceled some, means. A, it's it's not it's no longer happening. So we're just uh, gonna okay. toss some stuff over for you guys just so you can feast here. But the army queen's like gone, so you guys are gonna have to find somewhere else to eat from now on. I the the 
So those, so the birds, that's what you're tossing in the water? Yeah, they're all dead. Ah, ah, okay. So no, no queen? No queen. No queen. She's extra Dang, dead. she had yeah, a I'm great sorry. voice. Dang. Yeah. All right, all right, boys, pals, uh, gals, non-binary pals, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> I go. Non-binary sharks. Non-binary <laughs> sharks. <laughs> I love you. You know, you guys are really cool. <laughs> what? All right. I, if, if, if we ever cross paths again, uh, you're welcome to hang out as long as you promise not to eat me or my friends. Uh, I thought, I would. I mean, I wouldn't eat a shark. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a shark too. Uh, yeah, I, I still can't see you. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm invisible. How we're talking is crazy. What does yeah, that I'm, mean? I'm magic. I still don't know what that is. Yeah, she smells different. Uh, well, I just maybe one day we'll meet for real, Finn. Okay. But for now, I, you, it'll it. It has to be this way. Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> okay. You, you guys see you Pixie up in the nest Damn. like this, but she's being really, like, making these dramatic faces. So Are you in love maybe, with the shark? Maybe she's, she's just being dramatic. I'm going to very maybe slowly take away the wine bottle while she's again. making that face. Goodbye, Finn. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> Who's Finn? Yes. I'm crying. That's the shark. Oh. They have names? Do they yeah, name I, each other? I don't know what the other ones. Wait, hold on. Hey, Finn. Finn. Oh, shark you're back. Name oh, shark. What are the other shark names? Oh, that one's Finn, and that one's hey. Finn, and then oh, that okay. one's Finn, and oh. that one's Finn. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see now. Okay. But you're gotcha. the one I talked to earlier, too, right? Yeah, you're a pixie. Okay, I, the right. I, I talked to the same thing. Okay, anyways, uh, goodbye. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I Enjoy love marine biology. <laughs> What's that um, mean? There are many perks have, to being a marine biology. <laughs> uh, Pixie, explain to me what you were... Were you talking to the shark again? In my brain, Jeez. yeah. And, and you seemed upset, like did something happen? Oh no, like... I was just saying a fond farewell. Aww, that's All right. so sweet. I have an idea. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna use. Make sure I have a spell slot for this. Come on, load my spells. But yeah, Play. they're all named Finn for the record, everybody. Okay, so I'm if we come across use... more sharks, it's Finn. I'm gonna use my last okay. second level uh, just to make a spiritual weapon, but it's not gonna hurt anything because there's no enemies in the area. And I'm gonna make a shark look so much like a pixie. Like, it's a brown shark with, like, a little bit of blue patterns on it that's just, like, swimming through the water. <laughs> hey, 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 Finn! This is ah, me. what? Oh, I thought we were this saying is, goodbye. This, this is the real us. me! <laughs> go ahead and this give me a... This is who I am! Go ahead and give me a deception check with advantage. Okay, I'm proficient in deception. I could watch four hours of this. <laughs> National Geographic, get this on This is it. gold. This okay, is gold right uh, here. 22. Okay, so let's see if they get in that 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you see if it goes, Oh, hey! Hey! Hi! Hi! You want to eat the birds? No, thank you. I'm full. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna eat I... the birds. Okay. They taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just wanted to say hi, because it's me, a shark. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. That's a your, your name's a pixie. Yes, it is not Finn. I've I'm never from... met anybody named a pixie. I thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not from around here, so. Oh, where are yeah. you from? The other ocean. There's this. <laughs> <laughs> There's another ocean. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, I I need to go out more, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. <laughs> you should come there, there sometime. Oh, well, how do I get it there? That you come here often. <laughs> Yeah, uh, anyways, I have to go because oh, there's okay. sharks Eating elsewhere shark? that need me. Sharks need you? Yeah, I, I tell everybody about the blood piece. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. And up on the shore, he picks, he's like, make the shark swim away, make it swim away. <laughs> I'll do you one better, because it's been a minute. It's going to just kind of like be swimming away and just fade out of the water. <laughs> you see one wow, shark wait. like starts to follow, and then like as soon as it fades, it's like the shark swims around that area for a second. Oh, swims okay. away. Oh, God. Oh, he's oh, God. Like, Look what you oh, did. You taught a shark to love. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Um. <laughs> Bessie, oh, you killed, like, everything, so you pick from the pile before I just take everything. I'm not letting you take everything. Well, then you better pick something. Okay, fine. So she's gonna start picking up everything so that she can tell hey, no, him. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually do want to roll and see if there's anything else that's like hidden that I need to try to find. Um, sure. Yeah, go ahead and give me a perception check. I'm gonna pick up some of the sketchbooks. Be like a pixie. Oh. If none of these are like covered in blood, maybe you could use these. You're gonna use. Thanks. Or maybe I there's still want them, cool even if yeah, even if they're covered in blood, I still want them too. Ooh, you could write scary stories. In Yo, oh. the baby hands just rolled a 19. That's pretty good. <laughs> baby What's hands go bonus? plus. I guess. Plus, I got. I'm not gonna trophy. respect them anymore. But perception. <laughs> I have a plus eight to perception. Mm -hmm. okay. That's so. Damn. 27. <clears throat> Excuse me, wild. Um, with the twenty-seven wow. perception, you uh, you look through, uh, and as you get through some of the pile, you get underneath everything and hidden between uh, the tufts of the sticks and the branches of the nest itself. Uh, you see that there appears to be uh, the sort of topographical topographical map of the area. Uh, and you see that it has a lot of um, ship patterns on there, uh, going from some of the islands to the other. And they also show how, in this topographical map, uh, it shows that uh, the the islands, it seems like there's multiple positions for the islands to exist in, uh, which also details how the ship patterns are uh, displayed out. Okay. Um, all right, well, I will take that and I'm gonna bag it up because we may have use of it given we're, you know, on a ship ourselves. Um, I'm also, if Dea will not let me grab everything so I can dilly it up amongst everybody, <laughs> I'm at least definitely going to take the gold, mm -hmm. potions, mm -hmm. and I'll try to scoop up the boots because I kind of, like, I, I kind of want give Mimi some of the potions because she goes down a lot. Like, I want to make sure Mimi gets those. Mm -hmm. And the wing boots, I have a feeling of, like, who they probably will be used for. Like, I'm basically just gonna try to sketch, like, scoop up the things that seem useful to make sure that everybody gets to pick at them, you know? Yeah, sure. If we give a pixie <laughs> those wing boots along with her horseshoes, she's gonna be so fast! She's just gonna be flitting around. Could you battle. imagine? She's yeah. gonna be pixie, sonic speed. I don't know if she can wear no boots, flash. though. She got a little hooves. Oh, wait, true. She has oh. hooves. Oh. Mm. She got no toes! She, she got no toes! toes. No or she has one big toe. Or, yeah, a singular large that's toe. Worse. Technically. That's so much worse. <clears throat> well, because it's um, your fingernail. Yeah. I, I guess I'll pick up the little field medallion, too, just because I can, like, kind of, like, tuck it in a pocket kind of deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, as a player, have an idea of what some of these things are, but we as mm -hmm. characters Does don't. Does anyone so have identify? <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I do not. I might. <laughs> Let's, Let's see. My magic is punch. I have no spells. <laughs> identify. Um, my magic is. I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have identify now. Uh, do you leave behind the gemstones? Dan? That is a good frame. <laughs> what? Oh. I was uh, I was ooh, gonna say yeah. if nobody else picks them up, you pixie pockets the gemstones for now. What colors are like... they? Oh yeah, um, she's gonna pass them out according to like color scheme based yeah! on each person in the party. <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, so many emeralds and jade. Cool, yeah. So just to give you a, a small thing on the gemstones, there are um, there's uh, two turquoise, two blue quartz, two one moss agate, one banded agate. Uh, one tiger's eye, uh, one uh, Cal uh, Chalcedon, Chalcedony, 
another one Jasper, uh, and one Moonstone. Could you potentially send me that list? Yes, I can send that to you. Yeah, uh, what? Uh, Dan, um, Dan's a crystal bitch. We love him. <laughs> you can, uh, you can also get gemstone dice on Misty Mountain Gaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking yeah. of... Um, what was I just that last one? Turquoise. The turquoise ones look so cool. So cool. Could I... Um, Mountain Gaming. Could I pick up the star charts? Absolutely. Good idea. I need okay. to share that I did in fact write one line with the baby hands and you can see my normal handwriting <laughs> and baby nice. hands handwriting. <laughs> nice. Not a Pokemon, Not a Pokemon stream. stream. <laughs> um, That's surprisingly good for using the baby hand. What's on the uh, may I, I, I'm, I open them up. What, what, what do I see on the star charts? Uh, so the star chart that you see here so this star chart works differently than um, regular star charts do because the night sky constantly changes. And so oh, yeah. these star charts are less about charting the night sky and more so about documenting points in time at which uh, certain myths or gods were more prevalent uh, within the sky. Uh, this one, you kind of see uh, the image of what appears to be uh a singular eye uh that is like uh throwing down a lightning uh bolt at uh a ship that is then being destroyed can i make a, 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 a like a, a check on if i recognize this? yeah give me a religion or... Got it. Well, you can do so with advantage with advantage yeah okay religion <clears throat> with advantage that is going to be uh, that's medicine dear A B C D E F G <laughs> um 13 uh with the 13 you at the very least recognize the eye being a symbol of Kyranos which is Tior's uh main god that he follows alright I will uh I will um <clears throat> Ask the party if, if it's okay if I uh, take the star charts. Absolutely. Yeah. I, would, uh, I would like to give them to Tior. Oh, I think oh, good idea. Good. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, can I flip? Not to take a lot of time right now because we can head back and I can do this on the boat more in depth. But can I just flip through the sketchbooks and see what is in them, if anything is in them? Yeah, uh, you flip through the sketchbooks, they appear to just kind of be, like, rough sketches of other people. Oh, cool. <laughs> they don't, and they don't have any names to them, uh, and there's also no dates listed, so you don't know, like, when and where. They just appear okay. to be an assortment of people that are just listed out. A pixie it's a stops random on... character generator for your books. Nice. A pixie stops on a random page and, like, <laughs> runs her fingers across it and goes... My next muse. And then she tucks <laughs> them away in her bag. <laughs> um, can I so weird. you can I tell me her. you can tell me if this is possible, Dan. Is there a way that I can put the boots on just so that I can get them back and not have to carry them without like attuning or doing any of that? Like can I just put them yeah. on my feet to get them there? Yeah, you okay. Can, you can put them on and not attune to them. Okay. Can you attune to the wine? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna slip them on. Um you know, slip them on my feet, all that kind of stuff. Um, because my my leg guards fit very close, so I'm gonna basically do like the really loose UGG look on these boots, oh, where they're kind of yeah. hanging off, Perfect. and everything else I'm carrying. So like, she's got like all these potions like in her hands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> one of the potions is pumpkin spice flavored for deal with your UGGs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. There's an infinity gonna, scarf in there. She's <laughs> gonna walk over to Mimi and just be like, we "Can talk about this with the group." But this. It's a different potion from the other two. This one will heal you more, and you're always getting hurt. I I do tend to do that. I I oh. mean, if someone else needs it, though, I do if have things party, to heal myself. If the party's okay with it, I definitely want to give you this one at least, if yeah. not other. I ones. I will I will yes. Okay, I appreciate it. it you're also shaped like a brick house, and less oh. likely to go down before we do. So That's really true, because I- She like, could also I'm... help us if we go down first. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could keep this and on me just And not me over with a bucket of water. Okay, so with <laughs> none of us having, 
with none of us having the uh, getting too <laughs> anything to identify. <laughs> no, it's not. Obviously, I'd assume it would be a very high roll, but is there any way to roll like an intuition of some sort to figure out like this might be this or something like that for uh, our other two items? You may absolutely make an arcana check per item. Arcana. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and roll two of them then. Do I use the baby hands is the real question. <laughs> I think yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, I had bit. muted myself, no. but I said yes always to the baby hands. <laughs> oh, we're gonna use Crash Candy's dice because she just loves the baby hands. <gasps> you yeah. had to touch him with those. <laughs> why are I these guess. rolling as good as <laughs> why are these rolling as good as Vex? Like <laughs> Okay. So, uh I got you can decide which of these items you would like to put them to given I rolled them together, but let's see Arcana, what do I have to add to this? Uh, two. Okay, so one of them is a 21. Okay. Woo! I rolled Ooh. another 19 on the crash dice. Hell yeah. And then on my purple fluorites, it wasn't as good. I got a 16 in total. <laughs> That's still pretty That's good. That's still, uh, still yeah. great for me. It's pretty good. Uh, I'll tell you this much. Uh, oh, and you can choose which one you want it to go towards. Because um, you have... There's like... Th I'll, I'll let you know there's three items in question that you could like have this check oh that's upon. right i didn't do it for the wine oh bottle, yeah did I? the wine bottle the shield and the so boots. if you didn't want to do a third one you can i thought there was three well, it was no, two, I two so we had 21 and then 16 16 uh okay uh for the uh the last one uh, liquid core Wait, Ooh, that one's Michael. cool I rolled 17. a 17, which makes a 19. I'm going to specifically put the 16 to the wine bottle, partly because in her head she's going like, if this is a bad thing, get her shit out of luck, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that's fair. Okay, 16, and then where do you want the 19 to go? Uh, The 19... I'm going to put that towards the boots, and then okay. the, the big one to the coin, because I feel like... Mm -hmm. To the shield. For me as a person, yeah, for me as a person, I have less of an idea of what that could be, whereas the other one, at least <laughs> as a player, I can guess. That doesn't mean as a character I can use that knowledge, but for regardless. For sure, for sure, 100%. <laughs> um, so the first one, uh, the wine just seems like, uh, from what you can tell, is that it does seem like it has some magical properties um, to it. Um, you would suspect that if it was anything negative, it would have already occurred after uh, drinking it. So okay. whatever it is, it is a positive effect. You're not quite sure exactly what uh, to what end. Uh, or the dosage. It's called <laughs> getting slizzard. <laughs> it's, uh, the... And it's magical. <laughs> I love you guys so damn much. Uh, please. <laughs> that is like, I'm going to use that every day now. Dude, it's my favorite line from the Fly Like a G6. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting slizzard because nothing else rhymes with blizzard. Yeah. I've been saying slizzard since like middle school. That's so good. <laughs> like. Or Blitzkrieg Bot. Twisted. That's another fun one of mine. Um, <laughs> it's really making me think, though. I read an entire Blitzkrieg article of Eminem bot. telling you how to rhyme different words that aren't supposed to rhyme with things. So, like, orange and stuff like that. And the whole premise of this article, I was thinking, like, man, this might be some good insight. And instead, it's him just going, like, just make up words and just say it with conviction. <laughs> <laughs> just um, mean it. The, the, on a 19, you kind of guess that the boots themselves uh, are likely something that would aid in mobility uh, to its great extent. Um, you can probably guess as to what that would be, um, but to its exact detailing, you're not quite sure. Uh, as well as the 21, the biggest thing that you can get from it is that even though it is a small medallion and would not work uh, as a shield in any sense of the word, uh, it is For has... For tiny hands! It has... Yeah. <laughs> it does have... Um, traces of abjuration magic uh, tied within it. Uh, so you suspect that it is helpful um, to a pretty significant degree. Okay. Can Got I... Those all uh, written down. Oh. Can I head over to a pixie real quick? Yeah. yeah. And just, like, while you're looking through the... Um... The sketchbooks and stuff. Every so often she pauses and like caresses a drawn cheek or like 
pets the drawn hair. You look, you're, okay, you're I was about to say. I was gonna say you're gonna have to define which type of cheek because <laughs> the, the face cheek. cheek. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any like uh, portrait sketches of the full form, she like frantically flips past them all flustered. <laughs> I just picture there's one in there that's like the uh, the femme like superhero pose that like somehow you can see ass and tits at the same time <laughs> even though you shouldn't be able to turn like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, She's like, but... oh, the, the proportions of this one are off. <laughs> oh god, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking of that was just kind of like, are I'm you sure? Today. Now I'm just thinking of that photo I had to take of Kay where she asked if she could borrow my glasses. Like, <laughs> of her on the couch with her butt in the air and Crash walks around the corner and just goes... <laughs> because, like, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as, as you're flipping through... Pro influencer um, thing. Just that's that for real. But, so, uh, what do you have that? Oh, someone drew all these people in the sketchbooks. Do you mind if I take a look at one? Sure. Um, and she like cool. looks at all three, and she gives you the one she already looked through first. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. <laughs> and she <laughs> continues I'm... to flip through. <laughs> Can I flip through and see if I recognize anyone in the drawings? <gasps> Absolutely. Because I'm I'm pretty well traveled. Go ahead and um, give me a history check. Gotcha. How's my history? I get a plus one. I'm giving you a five. Well, up. that's a three. I don't know any of these bitches. <laughs> uh oh. I say on a three, uh, you recognize that there is a satyr uh, that is dressed in a sort of like well um, elegant, uh, this sort of like elegant uh, toga that then sort of like flows into a dress. Um, you recognize that satyr, um, and you recognize them because you have seen them at, um, as an announcer at, uh, some arenas, uh, before. Ooh, you can't with a three? You just You're can't- so generous! You just can't There's remember their name. people in there? You just can't remember <laughs> their name or where they're from. You just have I can't even... remember people's what names. If... <laughs> what if Dayona's in there? <gasps> I wanna see! I, I would know I'll, that. I wanna try to see if anyone's in there that I know. Can I- can I- like, Pixie uh, passes the other books around. When I- when I get to the Seder, I, uh, I'll lean over to a Pixie and be like, I- I can't place the name, but I know her. These That's are it. real people? This one is. I, oh. I don't know anyone else in here. Um, I, it, She's an announcer. I can't quite uh, call they. her name. It's they. Yeah. I cannot remember their name. But uh, this, I feel like this dress would look quite nice on you. I'll say if we run into them, I'll be sure to ask their designer. Oh, yeah, that'd be really like cool. Her. <laughs> Everyone in these in the sketchbooks butt? are so attractive. They're all real. <laughs> I I don't know if all hey, of them maybe. are, but this one is. Oh. Dan, may I roll to see if I know anybody? No check required. It does not appear that it has anybody that you have recognizable. Oh. Nope. You, you kind of get the sense <laughs> that in these sketchbooks, uh, that mm. whoever had these sketchbooks, that they were a frequent traveler. And so they were just somebody uh. that had traveled for long periods of time. It's uh, like okay. Jack so, on Titanic. So there's... Uh, He's drawn tits! I don't know who that <laughs> is. I'm very tempted to try <laughs> considering... Who draws Stole and Bessie did travel yeah, the, the Draw lot, me like one of your French that. girls. <laughs> um, what are French Titanic? girls? From Titanic? Are you are you playing with me right now? No, I'm playing Deo, you punk! Oh. <laughs> uh. Where is France? <laughs> That's, I, I met a man um. named Crucion that speaks like he's from France, but he's actually Croissant? from North. <laughs> Could I... Yes, yeah, could I, um, turn, We're mixing turn around. the streams. <laughs> uh, could I turn around and go as far to wherever no one is um, and and just kind of wrap up my arm again? I don't know if yeah. probably people have seen it already. I don't know. Well, uh, give I, you the benefit of the doubt, Nick, we did last week before we all rejoined. And gave you That's the option true. of if you re rewrapped and you said yes. So, 
Oh, I did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You did say Good. that you had, re had, had re wrapped it. So okay. I think at this I point, it's just. That. No worries. Yeah. I think, if anything, it's probably just to tighten it. Um, mm -hmm. Just to make sure that it's that it's secure. Okay. But I, just, just for my own sake, for future play, I want to confirm maybe, Dan, mm -hmm. I think Epixie got a small glance of Solstice's arm at one point. Not even a small glance. I'm pretty sure you got a full, like, I mean, you saw that uh, Solstice had okay. a scaly hand, so. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make a note of that for future use. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to... <laughs> juggling all of these goodies gonna walk up to a pixie and I'm like gonna do like the like <gasps> shove them all to one arm and just be like you did really good today and I'm gonna like pat her on the head and give you a cure wounds cause you oh, got oh, hit oh. pretty good so. yeah I've got 39 out of 84 right now oh. yeah. <laughs> when you pat her her little tail wags oh why is she so <laughs> cute I love it so much <laughs> You get. I actually rolled pretty good. You get ten <gasps> points back. Wow. Nice. Hey, nice. Th thanks, Bessie. You were really cool too. Can I like? Are there any like journals or anything? I know there was like sketchbooks. Uh, no journals. Uh, it seems that what the only thing that had been collected here were the sketchbooks. <laughs> she can't read. <laughs> She's like, I gotta have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just had a terrible idea because the tiny Thassas do such a great job that next time I should make them two tiny versions of her brothers just running around with axes. Just... <laughs> I love that. Um, Why stop there? Gonna... Fish with axes. I'm gonna start uh, making my way back to the ship. Yeah. If, the we got, if we've got everything covered, which I think we do, I've been checking it off yeah. as we go the through bubble. the list. Yes. Oh, um, the spell scroll. Oh yeah, the have spell it. scroll. Does Vessi have it? it? I think okay. I scooped it, but yeah. I mean, it was I scooped blade. Up as much as I can hold in my hands, and that's why I'm yeah. wearing the poop yeah. so oh, I have yeah. space. Uh, Pixie, when you give her cure wounds, she offers to carry something if if she needs any help. <laughs> Do you want? Is there anything here that you really want? Like I'm holding oh, all of it, uh, not because I'm taking all of it, but because I don't want Deo to. I I I mean. I don't really know what most of the deal is with them, but I could just, like, hold some of them for the group and we can figure it out on the boat. That sure. Like She's gonna pass off the remaining... Yeah. <clears throat> She's gonna pass off one of the bottles, just so that we don't have glass clinking together. <laughs> you know, yeah, she's that's gonna sure. give you... The you auditory know, nightmare. Yeah you, have, you have, <laughs> yeah, you have the gems, I have the muddy, mm -hmm. I'll also give you the scroll, which means I now still have on my feet the boots, and I have that little coin. So we should have cool. about even amounts of things holding between us right now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, rock and roll. Wait, other... what, did, said... what else did you give me? So I can write it down. You have the... I think you uh, have the wine I have the bottle. wine. You have the wine. I think that's... that's... Soul has... I think that's all you're holding right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Soul has the... I got the, the important chart. thing You anyway. have the book. I went ahead and gave Mimi one of the things. So And I'm also holding Mimi's hand as we go back. <laughs> and you uh, said there were no like weapons that we saw? No, it didn't seem like uh the the Harpy Queen had collected oh. any weapons or yeah, they I, threw I, them I, all I, into a the ocean. I want a big sword. Uh, I have one. I have, but the, I want a I have one. the ship. I have the ship map too. Um Oh yeah. I, I hunted around and found that. I've got the ship map on me. I don't think I told anybody I have that, but I have it. It's not like oh, a good. <laughs> that I can tell you. Uh, so. rock and roll. Uh, it seems like everything has been collected, and so uh, from then on, any lines of business before you guys head back? I want to try to draw a bull in the middle Ooh. of the nest. Go ahead and give me <laughs> a not an artist. Probably performance check. Oh boy, one of my favorite stats with zero Good bottom. Good job, little guy. Good job. <laughs> hey, it, it matters that he's trying. That's uh, true. Oh, okay, 13. You draw the outline and shape of the bull. Uh, cool. You then... Uh, you like you have the horns and everything, and then you think to yourself, you know what? I'm gonna try to draw the face, and then you realize very quickly, <laughs> fine details in uh, wooden nest uh, start to lose things. So you draw the outline of a bull, but then it has kind of a 
just a it's smudge got, of a face. It's not, uh, it's not this face. It's just going like. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like the eyes are a little too far. Apart. <laughs> yeah, and one of them's like a little too small. <laughs> a pixie walks by as we're getting off of the nest and just goes, huh. And keeps going. <laughs> Look, I know it's not as good picturing. as yours. I'm trying. I, it's it's, this it's is what I'm <laughs> It's very cute. Um, don't Robin. be mean. I don't have paint on me. Otherwise, I would leave that. Ooh, I said we got a clip. I didn't say anything mean. Uh, rock. Uh -oh, what did we clip? Yeah. Rock and roll. So I'm going to check your you break while we clip. <laughs> you yeah. all make your way back. Uh through the bubble as you uh, find yourself back out uh, on the deck of the ship. Uh, it seems that Ulrin and Tior have not returned quite yet, um, but uh, as you all uh, wait, uh, presumably about uh, a couple hours go by, uh, eventually uh, Tior uh, uh, makes his way back. Yes, Vessi? While we're by ourselves, mm -hmm. we'll obviously take the time to figure out who's taking what, but, but while we're by ourselves, mm -hmm. can I go look through Tior's room? <gasps> Ooh. You, you sneaky bitch! I don't know what you want me to do, but she's, she's basically just kind of, she's basically just kind of say like, oh, I just, I'm going to go over downstairs, you know, I just have a few things I need to do, just got to talk to Thassa, just, you know, like okay. that kind of thing. She's not going to tell the party that she's going to snoop. <laughs> <laughs> so. Here, Dio, this is how you should draw a bull. <laughs> she goes into like <laughs> the back of the sketchbook on a blank page and does like a dotted outline for Dio's trace. He's gonna do it. Vessi, uh, you head down to the lower decks, uh, and you find that there is. So there aren't any rooms. However, everybody does have like a sectioned off like hammock uh, that they have for themselves with like crates sort of nearby. Tiers is all the way towards like the back of the ship, uh, and yeah. is sort of listed out there. Uh, Go ahead and give me an investigation check. All right. I don't have my little lucky one out here because she's passed out. Oh, did you hear lucky one? Her head just shot up. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm up. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Pull me in, my coach. While I'm rolling this, have I told you about the time though at New York Comic Con when I had to wake Tegan up because her uh, her alarm was going off and she hadn't woken up through it? So at 6 30, I get up and shake her gently and I'm like, Tegan, your alarm's going off. And she immediately like opens her eyes and shoots up and just goes, I'm wait. <laughs> Those are kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. I'm the, I'm it makes sense for Tegan though. Alarms. It really does. Uh, 15. <laughs> Not super high, but not terrible. Um, you scan through, uh, looking through uh, as many of the items as you can. Uh, you find that uh, a lot of the items, like, Tior doesn't, like, have any sort of, like, loose things about. Uh, it appears that he has a number of different uh, scrolls uh, that he had taken uh, with him. Um... And they all, they aren't like alphabetical or anything like that, but he does have like a set of scrolls that he has by his hammock. Okay. Um, are they like sealed? Are they sealed up or are they just like. Uh, they're in like, there like sort can of. Can you unroll them or like. You can, okay. yeah. So they, they're all in these sort of like little tubes. <coughs> uh, so you can sort of like uh, just pop them out of the tube and unroll them if you would want to. Um, it appears okay. that he has about ten of I, them. I, I, um, I will, but I'm also gonna be very deliberate. Oh, oh go ahead. Hmm? I didn't say anything. Ten? Okay, um, if there's any type of specific... Oh, you're good, Dan. You just kind of, like, we're jumping for yeah. a minute. We're, uh, oh, we're jumping. Just a minute, though. Two. The oh. stream is... Yeah. I think uh. the stream paused as well. I think we're back though. We should yeah. we should be back right we're now. We're back. Yeah. Okay. I think we're back. All right. Well, I got a we quick remark. Max has an inspiration, or was that a guidance? She has a 
Inspiration. Uh, inspiration. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to bring her out later so that the rat can use it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's about there's about ten again? different scrolls here. Are we frozen again? Are we yeah. frozen again? Catching up to us. Um, and where it's jumping. Uh, it looks like it's caught up for me. Oh, okay. and uh, for me. Looks it's just a little blurry for me. Clear again. Okay, it's it's caught up. I think. I think it should yeah. be fully caught up. We're back. Cool. We're uh, good. Rock and roll. Okay. Cool. Um, no, all I was trying to say, though, is that if there's any specific, like, markings that match a certain scroll, like, basically, she's going to try to, like, lay these out in the way on the, t like, before opening any of them, she's going to try to, like, lay them out in the order. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to go back in just so they can go back in the I same see order. Mean. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Luna they get Bob. laid out. So there's no symbols on them. However, they are uh, color coded. Uh, so you see that, um, you can see that the first one, uh, is, why did I, why did I choose 10? Um, <laughs> the first one, uh, is laid out, uh, with a, uh, deep royal blue. Uh, another one is, uh, sort of has this, like, pure, like, dark black. Uh, one of them appears to be this like golden yellow. Uh, another appears to be uh, this um, crim this crimson red, uh, and then there's another one that is this more like regal red. Uh, there's another that is a uh, forest green, uh, and then there's another that is a more uh, light green. Uh, hmm. Uh, Why do I feel like he has notes on all of us with how this is colored? <laughs> uh, there is, I would love to read those. There's one that is purple. Uh, it's his burn book. <laughs> uh, there is another that is... Uh, it has gold, but sort of like red trims uh, throughout it. Uh, and how many was that? I think we're at nine. Let me... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, the last one, which is the biggest scroll out of all of them, uh, is appears to just look like uh, the, the Nick Sky. Ooh, so it's like, it has like star patterns uh, filtered around through it. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, now that I have my order, I'll just start, I'm going to start looking through them and I'm not going to make you tell me what's in every single one of them unless you find something important. You know, like I'll let you decide. Based off um, whatever you would like me to do. Uh, <laughs> for sure. I will say this much, is that most of them appear to just be myths about uh, some of the gods. Uh, so, first one is okay. kind of linked to Ephara. Uh, the other one is linked to uh, Rebros. Uh, another is to Helioid. One to Iroa. One to Mogus. Uh, one to Karmetra. One to Nylea. And then one to Farica. Uh then there is one to clothes, uh, and then the largest one uh, appears to be that tied to uh, Crufix. Okay. I was waiting for it to be like, the, a Pixie is the most skank-ass bitch I've ever met. <laughs> Don't do not her. trust her. <laughs> okay. Um, I got bad I history will... with my boy Crufix. <laughs> I will, uh, do not interact. I'll, I'll put them all back in the way that they had been. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, I'll do any more looking around if I need to, but I mean, I already rolled a fiddle of the road. Yeah, I think it... Roll for that, it, it, so, yeah. I think what it tells you from, from kind of the searching of it is that if if Tior is to have anything else, it is likely on his person that he keeps Yeah. Um, yeah. I think what it does tell you on that investigation check, though, is that out of all of the scrolls, right... It is odd that Crufix is the largest. Okay. Uh, with that, yeah, I'll put them all back in their place, make sure everything looks as it did, and I'm gonna go back upstairs so that we can figure out who's taking what item and all that, so. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so. Uh, did you guys want to settle out who's getting which items uh, right now? 
Sure. Sure. Yeah, let's cool. do that real quick. Yeah. We can Come do on. it really chaos. Um, yeah. Well, I, I was kind of thinking we might have Teol take a look at some of these, because he may, he's been everywhere. He might have a better understanding of what everything <gasps> is. But like oh. the things that I could definitely Maybe. tell is that like the little this little thing, the little <clears throat> coin, the little medallion. It like mm -hmm. it just it feels like it. I don't know, like it has like aberration magic maybe with it, but that's all I can really tell. The What's boots aberration? do seem. A... I get to a dictionary for New Year's. I... <laughs> for New Year's. <laughs> Because we're in Greece, we don't have Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the boots seem to do something with like mobility, and like they got this little the wing on the side. Uh, Ooh, the wing. And the wine, I have no idea other than it just seems magical and not negative because it's yeah, not dead. And it tastes awesome. It oh, tastes yeah. It's how much is not dead? Had. I feel different. <laughs> okay. Okay. And for just for saying that, she's going to like go to give you like. You know, like a punch on the shoulder, but like it's extra hard. <laughs> like it's kind of like a. <laughs> I go to bite your wrist. <laughs> oh my they come, the PvP they come in back, this campaign. They come back to just see this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. As it's like that spot in the cartoon where like you hold up the arm and there's like a creature attached to it, <laughs> but it's yeah. just a kid. Oh, it's just yeah. Tao. Um, could could I, I suggest don't... that maybe uh. My, I mean, if there's a shield on the coin, then maybe it helps someone be stronger. So maybe if someone gets hit really easily, they can have that one. I would say either True. somebody who can get hit easily or somebody who just can't get hit as much. Yeah. No? Well, and... Dale, you got hit pretty hard when we were uh, fighting a... In the we get hit Nadir, a lot. In the Nadir crack. Get hit enough. Every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, that happens when you fight things. That's true. But I, I... mean, if, do, if you want to prevent you? another hole in your gut. Yeah, I thought you need to take some. Do you have your belly in? button still? Yes. I just covered up huh. with fur. It's normal to do still have, have a belly, belly button. button. Mm -hmm. I... I just, I get worried about you, and I'd feel better. Why worry? You... I'm great! I'm doing if fine. If doesn't want it, I'll take it. No, I want it. I'm gonna give it to a pixie. <laughs> <laughs> and she takes it, and it's just, doesn't even look like she grabs it, and just looks at Dale like, Technically, you already have it. As you were carrying oh, yeah, it. Oh, because it was in your possession. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh. And, and then was, she looks at Dale, I was and puts it on. To... <laughs> I was going to recommend that the boots look to a pixie, on but you. I don't know if she can wear them with her hooves. Can I, I try one me? on and see? <laughs> if it's I'll, it's tra solid. I'll trade for the, the medallion. <laughs> well, I don't well, need why don't, I don't, why need don't you see? I mean, but... Yeah, I slip, I slip my hoof in the boot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be that DM that fully restricts you from having it just because you have a okay. different set of legs. Only... So the boots will magically we shape we, the yeah. boots will magically shape to your uh, foot. I just pictured oh, okay. like they only fit you if you're a US women seven and a half. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the only Damn, thing I was gonna too say for me. the only thing I was gonna say is that if a pixie wants the coin, because I I have a very high armor class and a lot of hit points, I don't need the coin. The only reason I was gonna say if Bessie takes the boots, then maybe she can actually get to you all running away from oh, her yeah. to heal you. But otherwise, you know I don't what? No, care let's swap one. back. That's a good idea. Because Pixie has a one. 14 armor class, so like, oh, not yeah, to, dude, not take, to take, meta game, take, but if the medallion will it. help with that, I that would a, be cool. I have a, no, I was yes, gonna say half yeah. yeah. I thought I was low. I'm two points higher than you. Please. Yeah, yeah, Pixie tries on the take And Pixie's like, you know. I already got some real good horseshoes, and I kind of like my hooves to be, like, out and free. So, uh, Bessie, why don't you have the boots? And then you can just, like, be a superhero. Watch her, like, stare at this boot that's now very much like I'm picturing, like, one of those, like, straight heels that's, like, the point of the toe goes straight <laughs> yeah. like this. That's she's exactly. like, yes. It changes <laughs> to your foot. 
If it didn't, I was picturing like a little kid putting on their dad shoes and then I... walking straight out. Yeah. Of the house. <laughs> I mean, you'd you still look very good in it. It it, it stayed like that. It's true. You could it's make good. anything work. I like think... you're gonna act like Vessie wouldn't have like those dominatrix ass boots like that. <laughs> uh, what what are those? The the big platform ones. The ballet Monias. Oh, the ballets. The ballet. No, demonias like the are really, this. Really uh-huh. yeah. Ballets are like no, I know. the right angle version. Yeah, I don't want those. <laughs> um, <laughs> Epixie oh also holds out the, the spell scroll real quick and goes, I don't think I can use this, or like, I don't really have interest in it, so if someone else wants it. No, no magic. I think Booming Blade is only for warlocks, blue. right? Oh. I mean, I, yeah, well, I you definitely spells... can't use this. It's artificers, <laughs> could sorcerers, wizards, and warlocks. But if you have a scroll for it, anybody can cast it, right? A pixie casually, mm-hmm. like... Because that tells you how to do it. Yeah, it's Puts just... Puts it down oh, next to solstice. Yeah, it's just, you have to... I can't use it, If but, it's not you of know... your class, you basically have to just roll an arcana check to try to use it. Mm. Maybe solstice is yeah, really smart, Yeah, then you should totally give so it to me. I want to see what happens solstice... if I get it wrong. Maybe solstice can look into it for us, because solstice is really smart. And then True. a pixie, like, makes eye contact with solstice and gives, like, the most obvious... Wink. <laughs> You just hear the like, she knows. I know she knows. <laughs> it's just a um, research for so it's just you're so smart. Essie's okay. gonna look at, at a pixie and just kind of go, Your eye is twitching. Did you get hit harder than I thought you did? Are you okay? Like, are you dying? I think you I just got sand in okay? my eye. I, uh, I grab yeah, the I think. piece of parchment and I pocket it um, really quickly. I message Solstice and I say, I know your secret! <laughs> I just, I just no. look at you like... I wink at you again. <laughs> She's sitting there with the Anya face the whole time, just like, Stop. <laughs> you, you said it's an obvious wink, like, do we all see you winking? I got sand in my eye. That's, I think, like, Mimi's gonna, like, <laughs> bend down and be like, oh, what? do you have, like, an eyelash? And she's, like, uh-huh. kind of, like, helping wipe your no. eye. No, <laughs> like, inside check. Yeah, go oh, ahead, go wait. ahead. Deception, Epixi, deception, give me, deception. Give me a deception check, and then anybody oh, else is welcome to make an insight check. Oh, baby. Try and beat this. I what also already have be? Booming Blade, just as a... So do you remember. 48, well. baby. Now you have two. 18 plus 9. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So 28 is the DC needed on these inside checks. Oh! Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> Vessi, well, did, you I... did you? That's not possible. Not exactly 28. Oh! <gasps> it beats it! Beats it. Yeah. yeah, because I, I got, well, so I got a natural 20 and I have plus 8. Right. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, so Vessi, you, go. you, I think in this moment you can catch that a pixie is directing her attention towards Solstice. Yeah. You're you're doing like the the Anya sand in the face, like the and Vessi's just looking back at you like like stone face just <laughs> What <laughs> does she know? <laughs> yeah. Uh I'm gonna message Solstice one more time and just say Don't worry, don't worry, I your secret safe with me. Um I can't respond to it, can I? You can respond I to this message. Line. Can do a one line response, yeah. Oh, okay. So just like one of my favorite characters. So. <laughs> I don't thanks. get it as a cleric. I say thanks. Why are you guys just staring Wait, at each other? There's some really attractive I'm, I, people in this sketchbook. And I flip open the sketchbook and I hold it up in yeah. front of my face. Uh, so have the yeah, items... Theo's gonna try to look. <laughs> <laughs> so have the items been told out to everybody? Um, yeah, those are the <laughs> so. we can figure out later. Okay. Yeah, a pixie wants to do something with the gemstones for everyone, so I'm gonna hold off on that for uh, now. Rock and roll. So, um, teleporting back in, uh, you see uh, Tior uh, as sort of that uh, as that bubble sort of appears around him. He goes, "Oh, wow, that was uh, <laughs> glad we got Tior! all that sorted." 
Ah, it's good to see uh, all oh, of you dear. alive and well. I presume. How'd it go? Uh, oh, it's I great. It awesome. It was great. Uh, no, they are very much still bitter towards one another. Oh. Uh, but oh. we're able to make uh, a sort of agreement uh, that Heliodora. Uh, has full access to the range of the Ornad Mountains or the Kachaton Mountains, uh, whereas uh, Hippomians. What about him? Uh, Hippomians uh, is uh, staking full claim of this new island out here within the Draca Isles. Uh, oh, that's good. Good idea. Or, I I'm mean, gonna, at least they came to some sort of effort. love in my fan myth, yeah. though. Is they well, uh, okay. they are still not on the evil best terms, so to speak. Um, but you know, they are happy that they no longer have to see each other. So there's that. Oh, yes. not well, but you did, weird. you did, you did what you could, which is what that that's the important. Uh, it's all that uh, that any of us can do. Uh, and sort of moments later, uh, you see Alrin uh, as she. <laughs> um, sort of teleports back in uh, and she has beautiful all right uh well uh that has all been dealt with and i see all of you have returned uh presumably successful in your endeavors yeah and oh, you fed yeah. their bodies to the sharks it was awesome Dale uh was Marvelous. very returning very, them to um, talented and very uh Dale was cool he he, uh, he slew the harpy the Harvey Queen. Well, that is fantastic. Uh, and, 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 uh, Bessie destroyed all the other harpies by jumping in the middle and all of her tiny facets. It was like destroyed a destroyed them. Death bomb. It's it's very... make, of like fish I, things. I would expect I nothing less. Facets, and she does all of the things. And she's so good. Well, I would expect nothing less from a champion of Thassa uh, herself. Um... As promised, uh, she kind of walks over to Tior uh, and sort of, uh, Tior has this like, uh, another sort of like, more of a magically created topographical map that is created, that again, is constantly shifting. Uh, oh, and... Tior, we, mm. we did bring back a, a gift for you that we we found in the Hoppy's Nest that we thought would, um, would suit you quite oh. well. Uh, what might that be? Here, here, here it is, and I, I pull out the star charts. Sorry, the map made me remember. <laughs> ah, that is that's a, a, a good story uh, from Kid. Well, good in what terms? Uh, a story of a, a group of sailors that said that they uh, could memorize the charts of the stars, and when they had failed, they had cursed Kyranos uh, in the sky for not granting them such gifts, and he did not take kindly uh, to that. Um, oh. But well, wow. Is so that does that mean that it's you... like a gift or not? Is this, uh, do you want to return it? We don't have a receipt. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, we it, is, the receipt. it is a sort of a tale of sort of uh, how boastfulness uh, can lead uh, to uh, much sort of worse transgressions uh, from time is, to time. Is that really what happens if you offend a god? Well, not all the time. Uh, it depends on to what level of offense uh, occurs. Uh, I'm sure for your, for, for your goddess Nylea, uh, it would be uh, behooved of uh, her uh, to run into any uh, hunters who are hunting in uh, a part of the forest that was not uh, advised uh, or uh, over hunting to some extent. That would be one way of offending Nylea in that sense. But if you have a god, that loves you a lot, they'll protect you too. Most well, certainly. Um, but thank they'll you. just not kill you. I... That too. That's always good. Yeah. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and you see Alrin uh, sort of uh, shows uh, to your where Dalakos is located. Um, and uh, you see as Alrin, as she uh, starts gearing up and starts heading out, she sort of turns and she says, uh, champion of Thassa, if you truly do call yourself that, I would like to see how your skills are uh, oh. under the ocean. And she leaps into the water. Whoa. Girl she's gonna fight! Take, she's gonna go get her. her into the other people and just be like, 
kick her. It's okay. Even though I'm missing some spells now, it's okay, girl, but I'll totally... Like, she knows what's probably going on, but she's like, it's okay, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Just... I got this, and I... she's gonna, like, <laughs> like, swan dive into the water. <laughs> okay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just gonna I'm, run I'm over just... to the side, and she's like... <laughs> I'm just so happy for her. I'm, like, just smiling so much. Oh, As Deo looks over the side at her, you look down to just see Vessie's, like, follow through to get to the water, just going... It's <laughs> <laughs> doing it right back over the side of the boat. Like, yeah! Um, rock and roll. So you catch up with Alrin as you're swimming under the water, uh, and you watch as she sort of drifts uh, directly sort of like underneath uh, the boat uh, as this sort of like shade sort of like gets created within the mm -hmm. water. Uh, and as she sort of swims to one section, uh, she sort of meets you there. Uh, and as she looks at you and she just says, now that we have a moment, oh. I would like to know exactly why you are out here. We are looking for something. Um, we have another boat out looking as well, but we don't know where they are right now. Um, we are gathered a bunch of champions. Apparently there's an island that has been completely unseen. Both man and god, and need to find it. Uh, the the vision, what we went to cloth for, mm. is to try to figure out how to find it, and it showed us Dalakos. I see. I've never um, heard of such an island before. Uh, it is certainly would. It's certainly not. I will say uncommon uh, for certain islands to be outside of the Lady of the Seas uh, eye uh, in her dominion. But um, what is at this island? Don't. Keep... Okay, I have to ask back to the front. I don't think he told us really what's He's supposed to be at this I don't island. Think anyone knows. <laughs> we're just like, yeah, yeah we'll that's go. That's why we're going. No one <laughs> yeah. knows. Yeah. He hasn't he told us. And I. Don't get me wrong, Tear is very nice. But, I mean, I already gave up something for him. I love how I just sounded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get me wrong, he's very nice, and I gave up future for him. Get this information, but don't know why he's keeping information from you. Unless it's just nervousness, but I mean, we don't want to double cross him, but we shared the same faith. He has a lot of scrolls on all of the other gods, and he has a very big one. It is for a crucifix. Don't know why. Just it's bigger than the rest. I don't think it probably doesn't even matter. It probably doesn't even mean anything. I just he didn't tell us what's at this island, and we he has the big scroll, and he didn't tell you things, and now I'm just mind is going places. Oh, I'm just trying to keep a close eye on him. I can. Well, it certainly poses a lot more questions than it provides any answers. You... I mean, she talks to you much more than she does probably to me being a... with your prophet. Aside from her usual things, has anything been bothering her recently? Mm, well, a number of things bother the Lady of the Sea. Um, she is often... Easily angered. Uh, but something of this nature would be perhaps you know as well as I do that uh, Thassa deems Kyrnos as a dear child and her only son and not a treasured one of that. She's not against this idea of 
finding out something else. And you know as well as I that the Lady of the Sea hates secrets, and she often likes to uncover everything that is accessible to her. And I don't know what this island is or what, what, what hails the world. And I do not know how or why there needs to be less involvement in what Kyranos seeks for this island. This much I will say. If there is an island that is hidden from both mortals and the gods, then there has to be a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but a reason nonetheless. The reason could be either really good or really bad. I can tell you one other thing. I don't know if you have mentioned it or not, but well, at the start of this journey, we had a serpent, a big sea serpent, and attack our ship. We could not understand what it said, but got kind of taken over by something, and now he can't communicate with his god anymore. He can't use powers anymore. Don't know if he's being punished or if something got severed. Like I said, like, Tyr's not... don't think he's a bad person, it's just... I don't know why he's keeping secrets. People have... I mean, his mane oh. is just so large because it's full of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair is full people, of secrets! People have hundreds <laughs> of reasons as to why they would not say something. Many can be ill, and many can have good intentions, but... There are secrets nonetheless. I would say to keep your eyes peeled on trying to find out what exactly this is. Personally, if you were to ask me as an Oracle of Thassa, I would say continue on your mission and uncover whatever secrets lie within this domain. But if you were to ask me as Ulrim, I would tell you that something like this it does not sit well I mean Oracle and Ulrin can go together just because you want to know doesn't mean that's right so so really quickly, before we go back up there, they think that we're fighting, so like, you know, just give me a good punch. <laughs> fighting? I Deo's thought we were like... racing. It's Deo, he... it's just, it's fine, just do it. Just... Ready. I'll, I'll do you one better. And as she quickly sort of like uh, twirls her bident, and she just gives you the slightest scratch across your cheek. Ooh. It's gonna be a cool scar! <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. It'll work. They'll get the point across. If they ask any questions, I'll just be really elusive. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, well, best of luck to you. I must be making back on my own journey, but do you be well and tell Dalekos I said hello. I will, and I don't know if you know how to do sending, but if not, I'll just send you little messages every now and then, like, to make sure that things are okay, but... <laughs> I don't, don't know if I'll be able to respond. I'm quite busy, but I will appreciate it. You don't respond. If you don't respond, I'll assume you're dead. <laughs> I, will, I will send something, then. <laughs> just a K. Or, or rather, <laughs> <Here> an <laughs> Lowell. <laughs> a what? She's like, I didn't ask if you could. A what? <laughs> a, 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 like a laugh out loud. Or some people think it also means lots of love, which I like laugh out loud. <laughs> loud, loud, loud. Um, it's like a little, well, it's okay. Just I'll get the vibe. I'll get the vibe. Just make sure you're alive. I, uh, all right. Well, I will share to, to LOL you as well. <laughs> 
Marvelous. And she <laughs> swims out of there. Fastest swimmer you've probably ever seen in your life. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, I'll hang out under the boat for a second before. So swimming over and like resurfacing from the side and just kind of be like, throw me a help. Throw okay, rope. Messy rope, messy <laughs> throw rope. Hell okay. yeah! <laughs> Mimi's just gonna reach down and grab your hand and like. We were sorry. Did <laughs> you wow. kill her? I didn't she kill did. her. She just... No, she's not dead. Aww. I can prove the point because I can message her to get an LOL back. Well, okay, what LOL. To your cheek. Laugh out loud. Uh, you oh, my mom you saves see... lots of love. You see Theo, or, or that's goofy. You see yeah. Theor as he uh, looks and he just says, "You had survived about with uh, the Oracle of Thassa." That's right. Wow. Go ahead and give me a deception check. That's pretty sick. I'll say do so with oh. advantage because you have to. I was like, wow. "Good luck on this shit." <laughs> this, this man's stats are stacked. Hey, Pixie. <laughs> yeah, hey, Pixie. Want to know a what? secret? Yes. Ooh. Sometimes in Akros, like a hundred years ago, they would battle to the death. Oh, rad, right? That's crazy, sick. They don't really do it much anymore, but I think sometimes they do. People just aren't. I thought sick. that was my job. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, Maybe that's it my is. career. Hey, to be clear, he's not in the Coliseum. He just knows <laughs> it exists. Fair. I mean, he's just uh, like, yeah, we don't kill people anymore. God, for the <laughs> advantage, because it was either a six or a nineteen. So. There you go. Woo! Nineteen. My whole so nineteen in total. Yeah. Okay. Roll low, roll low, roll low. Okay. You see T as candies. he uh, smiles and he just says, a "Rousing bout, I'd imagine." <laughs> what did she do to your face? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm perfectly I mean, fine. He fought her face. face. They were fighting, and she had a Biden. To, like, I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She hurt you. <laughs> I'd imagine. <laughs> but, but it was oh, a man. She was it's onto so the teeth. Shock just slipped out in that wording just there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was like an agreed upon fight. Like that's my whole job. So like, yeah. if you agree to fight, like you agree to get hurt. It was like I mean, sparred, like oh. think, about, think about the other day when like Deo and I sparred and I like kicked his butt. But that really hurt yeah. him. But, like it was it was understood. I was he tired doesn't... and sore because I work out. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, you understand? I didn't know. Only going upper on. body. He's got I'm chicken going legs. I'm going to let you in on like a little secret. If you work out like all of your body and do it regularly, you don't really get sore unless you like overdo it. Do work out my body. I'm just waiting on the rest of me to grow. Shut up. Well, uh, and I mean, if you on these discuss. Down, move faster. Well, fight, on this is not fight, true. I think fight, you're lying. Fight, fight. Well, on these discussions <laughs> of fighting. <laughs> Um, for those that, uh, We're need back with the crew. to rest, uh, <laughs> you're more than welcome to rest. Uh, but we have our coordinates to find Dalakos, uh, and we should be making our way, uh, in about, uh, a little less than a day's journey. Oh, wonderful. Cool. That's not bad at all. Just waiting for you to be like, we have our heading. Uh, so, <laughs> here, here be we go. Charting our course. Ask- Yes. Yes. I just ask you something, just cause like, found that star map, and you know, like there are a bunch of sailors and all that, and I realized. Do you refresh my memory on what's supposed to be on this island? Cause I don't remember from our original meeting. And given we just fought the harpy queen, I'm just trying to think if there's gonna be more like, harpy queens over there, or like another dragon. Oh, or... there well, better I, be. I can. I can assure you, uh, I cannot speak much about this island, uh, but what I can assure you is that there aren't going to be any uh, dragons or um, uh, hydras of any kind. Uh, uh, No monsters that would be lurking about the island. It's going to be something much, much worse. (laughs) Yeah! Yeah. Does it have to do with maybe your magic being a little... not... What it used to be. It's 
Well, I would suspect that um, whomever is uh, adamant on uh, our journey uh, is likely uh, tied and um, connected to this uh, in some way. Um, obviously, of course, whenever you venture out uh, into lands unknown and um, places, you are going to upset uh, someone. Um, but I believe that this mission is in the best interest of the people of Theros and, uh, would serve us all, uh, a great duty. Insight check. Plus we get to call ourselves Harpy Killers! I've been doing, I've been doing all the insight checks, Bill to... Yeah, I'm, I'm on insight that, too. 23. Beast Slayer. Oh, wait, can I insight too? I just realized for once sure. I have a good insight. <laughs> I get plus 11 to my insight. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't care. God. I got... Ooh. Oh, he rolled but... a good deception, didn't he, Dan? 18. I, uh, oh. I, well, I rolled a really high insight. I got 22. Okay. I got 25. Oh. 23. Did I do my math? Yeah, 25. Mimi? Me just. Oh, 18? 18? Me just. Dale, yeah. are you making any checks? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a pixie. Uh, you said you got a Beast 23. Slayers. Guys, we gotta think of like a cool name. Um, <laughs> all of you get the sense that Tior believes in this mission. Truly does. Uh, truly believes that this mission is. Uh, for the good of the people of Theros. Um, Vessi. The only thing that you get from him, and it's ever so slight. He did um, roll really high then. <laughs> you get the sense that he had... I'll tell you this much. When the topic of discussion of who would be against him against this mission you saw in his eyes a look of recognition as if he knows exactly who doesn't want him to do this he had that big scroll okay that's all you got i'm going to very subtly take solstice's hand give it a little squeeze and then glance at her with this look that says we need to talk later <laughs> and that's about it. Which hand? Oh. Ooh. I don't know what side of me you want to stand on. <laughs> right side, Good definitely side. right side. <laughs> and I'm taking your left hand, technically. If you're on her right side. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> like the quiet. Okay. It, I don't think it works this way, but okay. yeah, I mean, it's. I think Soul says you just have a nervous energy as she uh, tugs your left hand for a second. Um, rock and roll. And I think with that, uh, as everybody is gearing up and setting sail uh, to go with Dalakos, we're going to take our break here. Uh, uh, thanks so, yeah. I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're going to take a quick uh, break here. Don't go away. Uh, be sure to check out their art reel. Uh, we saw, I saw in the chat that there was one clip uh, thus far in the night. Yeah, uh, so if you guys, I can't wait to look. <laughs> So if you guys got more, more ideas you. for clips, uh, be on the lookout and be ready. Um, but don't go away. We're going to be right back. See you all Grab in a bit. Snack. On Grab the note snack. of Vanguard, you can always get added to the reel by putting it in the Discord if you draw any of our characters. Exactly. Yes. Check out our And our I will reel. cry. <laughs> we all will cry. Uh, so if you want to see I'm us all cry, cry, post art in the Discord. Um, we'll send you pictures of us crying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all uh, in a few. Uh, don't go away. Bye. I spilled tea on Bye. myself. Okay. Oh, no. no. Oh, nice. <laughs> Was it hot? It
send you that without the little like words over it if you and want more. And we are <laughs> back. Hello. 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 Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome back Greetings. to the Edge of Knowledge yeah. here at Misty Mountain Streaming. <laughs> Uh, jumping back to the mythical world of Theros. Our crew just re returned back, learning some information, trying to gauge more about their mission at hand. Um, but they have a destination. They're making their way to Dalakos, the master inventor. And so uh, it's within a day's time. Uh, so you guys do have a chance for a long rest. Uh, so feel free to make yes. any of those uh, adjustments, regain abilities, health, spell slots, all of that stuff. Uh, looping back through. Uh, after this sort of like long rest, you guys will you make going? your way to Dalakos' workshop pretty soon. Uh, so uh, I would ask uh, each of you if there's anything that any of you would like to do uh, before making before you guys arrive at uh, the workshop. Uh, there's mm. something Epixie would like to do. Absolutely. The floor is yours. Uh, <laughs> She would like to find a moment where uh, Solstice is uh, hanging out on her own and Epixie's going to slide up and, be, and make sure that there's no one in like the perimeter area and be like, Hey, you want no secret? Sure. I also have a friend who gives me extra magic. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't really know what you're talking about. Okay, you could, you can be secret if you want. I won't tell anybody and I won't push, but I just want you to know, like, I think it's really cool. And, and, and I also, I, I, I have a magic secret friend who, who I, I said, Yes, and they gave me magic, extra magic. It's not bard magic. Is it? You promise not to tell? I, I pinky promise. Is this what people do here? Is, is, yeah. Is, does this... This means something? that you're sworn to secrecy? Um, like, until death pretty much, unless you're okay with me telling it later. Okay. Hey. Um. Yeah. I, 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 shirt. I uh, I, I did. I feel like I did something. Maybe that was not the right idea, and uh, now I have new power and magic and I'm, I'm not really sure how to um, use it and uh, I feel like I uh, I hurt Noilea in order to get this magic and I, I'm not even sure if I really uh, want it or deserve it well I, I don't know very much about Nylea, but I feel like if if you had a chance to, to be more powerful to protect people, she'd probably be happy for you, right? I didn't seek out the power to protect people. I it was it was um I was being selfish. I, uh, I'm looking for my name. I don't really know who I am. Solstice isn't my name. I just don't... I mean, Vessi knows that, but don't tell anyone else. Do you? I'll keep calling you Solstice until you tell me something else to call you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, but uh, you know... Sometimes being selfish isn't always the worst thing in the world. Because if you didn't get these powers to protect others, you got them to protect yourself. And if you can't protect yourself, then you're not taking care of yourself. So I don't think that's especially bad in a selfish way. 
It is if you have to hurt people every time you see them. Do you have it hurt us? It's okay. I, I take out my left hand, I, I unwrap it. And I show it to a pixie. This is what happened when I, um... Uh, Farika came to me and um, she did this to my hand and um, she said that oh, I have to go up to everyone from now on who I meet and give them a handshake and I mean from what I know about Farika she she's a, a goddess of medicine but also of disease and I I don't know if I'm if I'm hurting people by going around and 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 doing something that is supposed to be nice to do you know sort of a nice gesture of a, a welcome gesture of shaking hand now it's become this I don't know what I'm doing and and I'm scared that I'm have you, have you asked her? I haven't, but I'm, I'm, I'm scared too. You shouldn't be scared, cause, hold on. And Apixi goes like this when she says hold on, and she glances at her fingertips, which are stained with ink, and she goes, See, we're the same. The stains don't go away, cause of the magic. And she digs into her, her pouch and she pulls out the ink-stained paper and she pulls it out. I ask this guy stuff all the time. And, and, and you shouldn't be afraid to ask about it. Sometimes you don't get an exact answer, but sometimes you get a good one. Like, watch this. And I pull out a little pen and I like scooch over next to you so you can see. And I write on the paper and I say, Hi, it's me. Um, so we just killed off the Harpy Queen, which sounds really, really cool. Um, I'm sure you're very proud. Um, because cool, right? Uh, <laughs> it's very <Farrakha> cool, man. <laughs> so, Don't worry, we'll get an answer. Uh, I trust, I the, trust him implicitly. He's been my most consistent friend ever. As you write away the, as you write the ink, the writing goes away, uh, and writing itself on the page, it says, "Congratulations." Sounds like a battle well fought. I personally have not met Farika, so I would not know uh, what they are like. If it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes he's a little cryptic, but I love him. And uh, I go in again and I say, well, you're really cool. And you gave me my bonus magic. So if Farika gave my friend Solstice magic, then Farika's cool too, right? Uh, the writing goes away. Uh, and what writes afterwards is uh, magic bestowed uh, as a gift is still a gift. Ah, see? He's really smart. <laughs> All right, thanks. Um, I'll talk to you later. So it just says hi. And I do a little heart. Uh, you do that. Uh, and as it all writes away, except for the name Solstice, and as Solstice rests there for a moment, uh, you see that that goes away, and it says, Lovely to meet, Solstice. And I roll up the paper, and I tuck it away. And, and he he kind of wants me to do something like the handshaking, but I don't shake people's hands for it. But like, eventually he wants me to start getting people write their names down on my paper. So it's like we're the same, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it can't be too bad, especially if they're really strong and giving us these jobs, right? Yeah, no, it, it can't be that bad, but you're right. Um, thank you. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate it a lot. I, um, 
I haven't had many friends here in, in, in Theros. And Vessi, she was, is, was, it, she was my only friend for a very long time. So it's been nice to have a family. Because I can't get back to mine without my name. But well, it's it's nice to have one right now. Yeah, well, well I I mean, I've traveled with lots of different people, uh, and they all kind of come and go. So so it's nice to be on a long journey with you guys, because it means I'll get to hang out with you guys for a long time. And hopefully we can do more after this, too! Because once we find the island, we'll be, like, renowned? And more people will want us to do stuff together as a team! Yeah. I hope that... I remember... ...that it happened. <laughs> of course you will! <laughs> You're silly, Solstice. And if you, if you forget anything, I'll write it down so you can read it back. That's what my kind of job is, technically. To tell people about cool things that have happened. You'll As a guard. Yeah. You'll help me remember. Of course! I tell people stories all the time back home. Most of the time they only listen for some of it because I'm like shouting on the street. Like I stand on like a little box and I tell stories. And sometimes they throw like copper pieces. Um, but you don't have to throw me any copper pieces. I'll tell you them for free. I, uh... Tim, you worked for Copper. I, Mimi made I it believe, rain! <laughs> I, believe I, have, I believe I have ten gold pieces. And I take out ten gold pieces and I give it to a pixie and I say I don't want to forget anything after I find what I'm looking for. Please don't let me forget. And I, I, I the, the ten gold in your hands, and I, I close your hands, and I, uh, I give you a hug. Uh, while, while you hug me, uh, a pixie quietly says, uh, I'll help you remember, don't worry, but you need to keep this just in case you need something in the future. I know that I I was never really in the Feywild because my mom's adopted me when I was a baby, but this stuff you need here. It sucks, but you need money. And I kind of like twist my hands out, but I leave the golden and now my hands are outside of your hands. So you're holding the gold. Besides, my bombs gave me a lot of money before I left home, so I'm kind of good. <laughs> I didn't understand why people threw copper at me at first, but uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Your your um your mom's run a a bakery, right? Yeah. Okay. How about this? I'll learn how to bake and I'll bake you something instead. I would love that. I would actually love that quite a lot. That's the one thing I miss from home, really. My mom's in that. baked goods. I, I uh, nod and I climb up to my little crow's nest. I give you another really bad wink. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna set off to my bunk to start writing everything that has happened so far in our journey. Rock and roll. Very sweet. Um, any other lines of business anybody wants to get up to? Um, I actually want to try to find a Mimi uh, because I, oh. you know, I just watched, <laughs> like, you know, Solstice was gone up to bed. I'm not gonna, like, she seemed, like, you know. Yeah. Little off for the day. I'm not gonna wake her up to go talk for about sure. what I think is going on with Tior, but I do want to talk to somebody. So Vessi's gonna start the conversation by sliding up and being like, "So like, 
Have you ever done like gladiator things with like the water genasi dudes? Because if so, you probably fought my bo my brothers. It's not very likely, I will say that they're not in the city. Dan, have I fought her brothers? <laughs> Give me a luck check. You fight like my brothers. I've fought That's your brothers. Brother. That's, That's a compliment. A compliment. <laughs> I haven't. 100%. Uh, three, you have not uh, fought your uh, Bessie's brothers. Have I fought any, like, water genasi, though? Um. Yeah. I'd say so. That's, I mean, I've, I've fought a, a handful. It's... I mean going to be honest i just needed something to start talking so that i didn't just start oh. you know like word vomiting if you ever do meet them though they're pretty nice they're just kind of meat that's you know oh <laughs> that's we love a himbo <laughs> it's really though like the full definition but no i wanted to talk to you about something important i want to tell solstice yeah. about it tomorrow too but i need somebody to be on the same page as me tonight She's I gonna understand. like. She's gonna like walk you to a corner where it can kind of be like mm -hmm. private and hidden. She's still gonna be whispering and just being like, <gasps> "My big ass hiding." <laughs> yeah. So I didn't actually fight. Older and I talked with her because I didn't. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, we froze. Hold up. I've seen you fight. Hold up, I... hold up, hold up. We have oh. to redo that conversation because it, it froze. Oh. Uh, oh, my. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. no, I know. <laughs> We're going to come back just screaming. Cycling back. Ah. 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 Okay, we should be, <laughs> we should be back. <laughs> wow, that fight was really intense. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe that <laughs> happened. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone missed that. We should be back uh, <laughs> by oh. now. Um, oh, oh, oh! She oh, found the hands. Oh, she found the hands. Oh, no. Get it, oh. it, Get it, Vexy. Get it, Vexy. Oh, uh, little baby. But where, where did we? Do you know where we cut out? Uh, you had cut Shit. out at the moment at which um, ow, Bessie ow, was about ow. to say that no, we weren't uh, <laughs> fighting. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, didn't actually fight Aldrin. We just we talked, you know, earlier when we first met her. Yor was very reserved with her, you know, kind of withdrawn. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't know why. So I kind of told her some of the details that uh, she didn't know. Um, I mean, that makes sense. Like. Especially we're, we're discovering an island, and I feel like islands are in Thassa's domain, so she, like Thassa has a right to know what we're doing. Um, I, I couldn't tell you why he was reserved, but if, if I'm being honest, I've seen you fight, and th this is not a dig at you at all. I hope you don't take it like that. But I, I didn't expect you to come back with one scratch. I figured there'd be more. You, you, you're not told, big on the I told reserve. Her to like, I told her to like fully punch me, and she said, "No, I'll do you want better?" And then just it did. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a really nice scar, and it, you know, it doesn't ruin any of your features, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I was like, if you were fighting her, I thought you would come back at least a little bloodied, even if it wasn't yours. I just, I, I needed to get. I need somebody to help me watch him. Just. Just in case, you know, they just help me keep an eye on him. Mm -hmm. It's like I also went and kind of snuck through his belongings. I know you're not supposed to do that, but whatever, it's already done. Um, but like, I don't know, I just something isn't sitting right with me. Mm -hmm. Odrin told me too that it's always good to get answers, but at the same time, she was speaking from Odrin's perspective. This would make her nervous, and that's I mean, an oracle saying she's nervous. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. I don't take this as a safe journey. And I don't think that Tior has any like ill will toward any of us. I don't know what his his purpose is on that island. He was never very specific other than discovery. Um, but even even if he does have ill will, 
you're gaining knowledge for Thassa. You, I'm not, he doesn't... I'm not upset to be on the journey. I'm just saying I'm beginning to not really trust him 100%. No, that's understandable. I don't trust anybody. That's... <laughs> like, no one... Anytime someone asks something of you, there is always some selfish element. Regardless of whether it's for someone else or not. Or else they wouldn't ask. I, I'll definitely keep an eye, and again, that's... If anything, you are expanding Thassa's horizons. Um, but yeah, I'll... I mean, I... Well, I, will I don't know if I'm quite... Well, without his magic, I might be able to fight him. Ha! <laughs> I think I think you could take him. I think you could. But regardless, like, I just I'm telling you because I like I said I need someone else to help me watch him if I'm not around. But also, just like I said, I don't. There's something that doesn't feel right the further we get into this, and I don't just mean the island, just secrecy. Yeah. Withholding, I... just when he was telling us about like who would, you know, who would the pose. Discovery was like a glint in his eye that told me he knew. I just, I don't know who, but just certain things are not lining up, you know, like a two plus two isn't making four with certain things. I don't understand. No, so. that's, I, I'll, I'll handle this with decorum and on, honestly, like, I'm glad you came to me first. I love Sos just a bit. She's a sweetheart, but she's a bit untrusting and a bit paranoid and doesn't have the best poker face, if I'm being real. You've so... not actually played poker with her, though. She's very good at it. <laughs> I, would, I would assume so. That's honestly, I. She didn't know what cheese was, but I, I'm quite amused that she knows what poker is. Um. It originated in the Feywild, actually. Then yeah. I believe that. That's how they get your name. It's canon now. Shit. 100%. Got it. Yeah. But, and uh, th that's nothing against her. She has no reason to trust anybody either. Um, but I I'm glad you came to me with this. I'm glad you trust me with it. Can't, well, of course I trust you. I trust all of you, but I can also tell you Sol has her reasons for being how she is, and I can't speak for her. Just, I mean, I will tell her. I just, she's, I don't know. She seemed a little off today. I just want to give her her space. Yeah. Just be oh. sure you, you prep her beforehand, so, like, because th this could be a bit jarring. I know that she, like, she's warming up to us, which I do appreciate. And, like, I know I said I don't trust anybody. I do trust you guys. I wouldn't fight with you if I didn't trust you. Um, but I know she has a bit of trouble trusting, and just be prepared for it to be a bit of a gut punch for her to not be able to trust the person who's started this journey. I didn't exactly think about it. I know you don't like have that. the gentlest touch. <laughs> you hear like one of those like like the law and order like the dun dun and somewhere like, there's like <laughs> gong, gong. somewhere yeah somewhere there's just like text that just says Vessi will remember this like <laughs> <laughs> even if, if you'd like I I do have a bit of a soft touch I could I could speak to her about it. Perhaps maybe this would be better because. Hmm? I also don't know how telling Deo would work. Having tele like, telling a pixie, I don't know how that would work. Maybe you and I keep this between us for now. As we oh, yes, I... slowly drop little little things here and there just to start planting the seed. Oh yes, I, I love Deo. He's like a brother to me, but like he, he can become a bit feral, so I say be calm. Like, let's be real, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's, give a mouse I, a cookie if you give a kid a knife. What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> I have a knife! No! No! no, no, a knife. no. no. I have a I, knife! I, yes! Finally! <laughs> I have so many! <laughs> uh, I, I, I do think it's best to keep it between us just, just for now. Uh, and maybe hint. I, I think a pixie would take it pretty well. That's... She, honestly, like she's like, they, she'd look at it as a juicy plot point, perhaps. Um, but yeah, for the other two, hints, hints sounds good. Yeah, just little ones. We can decide overnight if we want to tell a pixie, but we have to make sure she like keeps it to herself. 
<gasps> That's the other thing. <laughs> oh lord, okay. We have to pr make her promise not to publish it. <laughs> what if we tell her that it's a big juicy story? If she tells people too soon, it won't have the same impact, you know? Like, she got to keep it to herself, only <laughs> talk with her sources, so that she can be the first one to get the scoop. That's very smart. And I, like, I hope you don't think that I'm like, here's how we deceive our whole party, because, like, Lord, I would <laughs> no! <legit. laughs> I <don't... laughs> Tact is important. See, that was just a bold-faced lie that I just told you that we'll tell a pixie. Like, I get it. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think keeping this between us for now, um, we, we have a plan for a pixie and I think we need plans for the other two as well. I will tell you, I think Sol will take it better possibly than Deo, just because Deo seems a little not here, but enamored. Or just. No. Oh, it's very important that you're here because he'll be dead. And I believe he did say that earlier. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Um, I'm sorry, uh, pardon my French. That's, I forget. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Is French. Yeah. And what are French like, girls? Uh, Why do you I keep know. saying, <laughs> where's French? You hear that from below deck. <laughs> where, where is... What is French? <laughs> where is know. French? <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if French existed at this time. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Was right up there with the crossbow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it oh, did until know. like Doctor Iris was born. <laughs> yes. Dan, Dan, I hope you know we love you. I um, love all of you. <laughs> that's about, and this is a bit off topic, and I know it's a little too little too late, but for what it's worth, I, I think you would have made a great gladiator. I've seen your skills; you're quite talented. This is not me trying to make you think you made the wrong no, decision. No, the information I, I could have or not. Just, no, I, I... Why is Keaton? I appreciate it. <laughs> Things like this. But... Are we frozen again? We, we, we froze frozen. again. Uh, it oh, ended no. on right when Vessi was saying, I really appreciate you doing this. I think, oh, okay, gotcha. I think we're back, back now, though, so it should be good. Yeah. I think we're good. Are, we, are we back? Yes. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> That's, I do know it's a little, like, too little too late, but it's something I know, and I, I just wanted to give you that encouragement. So even if you now can't, you know, use those talents in the rings, just know that you're a, a very skilled fighter. And I respect that. Well... Um, I mean, I have respect telling me that, and I probably don't show it too much, but I respect all of you so much. You know you. Came out there for... I mean, we all came out here essentially, for... No idea what we were actually finding other than an island. You keep proving yourself over and over, and you keep taking care of us, Mimi. That's sorry. If, if there's one thing I know how to do, it's that. Karametra taught me well. Um... I also, like, that's, I'm sorry, I'm getting gushy here, but you are so authentically and unapologetically yourself. And... Thank you. I... <laughs> God, I love that! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that with the baby hand, like, just going... <laughs> 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 that is a skill I've yet to learn, and... I feel like I'm going to learn a lot from you. I can tell you a very simple thing before I let you go to bed for the night, which is you just got to remember. It's impractical to think that everybody in the world is going to like you, you know, like that's just dumb. Not everybody's going to like you. And once you have that thought in your mind, you really don't care if anybody likes you. That's... I don't think you understand how wise that is. <laughs> you said that like as a joke, but... Also, I, I do need to get the name of your designer because your outfits are just mm, stunning. <laughs> and now I have all the fashion sense in the family. That being said, though, Anno does have like a side shave going on that's really nice. I thought about doing it once or twice. But... Really oh, nice. We love a side shave. That's so... <laughs> uh, 
<gasps> Let's Rock just low key compliment the... Ty real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, the shape is growing, and mine's not just side. I have so much hair, it only looks like side, but I've got it completely under all of my head. Oh, wow. They have a lot of hair. Dude, my sister in law has a ton of hair, and she had to cut it short when she worked a camp. Otherwise, she would get heat stroke. Oh, I believe that. She has I so much hair. That is wild. <laughs> my head. That's like the entirety of my head. That's okay. I this is not D and D. I used to have. Why do you have like chinchilla level dense hair? And like I, after I got in that car accident, I lost a ton of hair and just never got it back. Like uh, trauma, like physical trauma makes your hair fall out. Um, so now I have really thin hair, and Word. God, I miss it. <laughs> There's your medical lesson for the day. I have a, I have a lot of hair in my hairdresser, and I talk about all the time how we're not really sure how it's still going on. Like it's shockingly <laughs> resilient. <laughs> we, we got two party yeah. secrets now, y'all. Crazy. We did. Oh, boy. Uh, and Deo's a neither of them. <laughs> or more. Well, I was going to ask hey, Deo's or anything that you would if like. If there are more. Yeah, Deo's or anything. <laughs> Deo tells neither. everyone think... a different secret. <laughs> you think he's going to say anything about himself other than that he's great? <laughs> no. no. You can pry because... his problems from his cold, dead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, cast, we cast speak to corpse. Some that words like tell us, like well, the, <laughs> hey, just first step ahead, just no. Yeah, because cor <laughs> corpses can tell can just deny your question. No. Yeah. Also, there's three of them because if Pixie is the only one who knows that Mimi's kind of a soft girl. <laughs> I the secret keeper. Uh, Deo, is there anything you'd like to get up to? <clears throat> uh, not really. Uh. He may affix the feather uh, as almost like a pin in his little half bun because it has been scraping at his neck a little bit. <laughs> she was totally right, and he didn't want to <laughs> mention it. So now it's like a little cross pin. Mm -hmm. um, I'm cute. I'm sorry to to interrupt, but Sprinkle just said that what's hidden on the island is the French. Yeah. <laughs> We're about oh my to God, we found France. them. We're going to come up to a fort that just says, you guys have and I no idea how often you'll be invited. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for a wild course of history for your country. Wild. <laughs> Not as much as Poland, but a lot. Uh, so he'll do that and probably keep working out. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just get uh, me in gains. <laughs> try to stick games. to that scout You've gotta ride. You've got to work lower body. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying. Do rock. some squats, guys. My bones haven't fully grown yet. His little leggy's <clears throat> gotta grow. <laughs> they do. Shut up. Um, I'm gonna rock. be so tall. Diana's uh, super tall, got so I'm gonna be way okay. taller. <laughs> so. As I'm sorry, we're on here. My horns are gonna grow bigger. You just watch. I love uh -huh. it. It's, it's uh -huh. awesome. They're, they're Whatever you say, Dale. We usually are. <laughs> There's something in the water. Welcome to the chaos stream. Welcome to chaos. We love it. And hey, you uh, get to experience the 2.0 version of this tomorrow night with Misfit, and we're all doing scary things. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, that's all of you uh, sort of like end your days as uh, night uh, starts to descend as the sun setting uh, over the horizon. Uh, you all make your way through. And as you do, the clouds sort of like part away uh, as night sort of descends. And encroaching up, uh, as you can see, um, a resplendent and massive uh, sight to behold uh, as you see a titanic uh, body uh, of a kraken. Uh, so what you see before in this Kraken is, is that it looks to be a mix between uh, a humpback whale and a jellyfish. So what you see mm -hmm. is towards the front, this sort of skeletal frame of the whale. And as the bones sort of like line through, uh, you can see it stretches all the way out towards its tail. Uh, and with all of its bones, it is reinforced 
with bronze uh, throughout each of the bones. And in the slots of where there would just be like an empty skeleton, there's instead these massive like wooden and metal uh, frames holding up. So almost as if you're looking at a skeleton that has been filled out uh, with these wooden and metal frames. Uh, so it's not like see-through or anything. It's like really that. cool. And Holy moly! That's so see, cool. And yeah. towards its torso, where you would expect to see uh, its fins of a whale, you instead see several dozens of massive tendrils that would belong to a jellyfish. Now, what's interesting is that the skeleton of the whale is still that, but the tendrils of the jellyfish still remain that sort of jelly-like consistency. And you can see that several of them are wrapped around a multitude of these metal spires uh, with coursing electricity through them uh, as it moves throughout uh, the frame. As you all- I want to slurp one like a noodle. Uh, <laughs> you all. And again, this is a titanic body. So this was similar to the size uh, of uh, Eryxmes, uh, but much, much smaller. Jesus. A little bit smaller wow. than Eryxmes, but bigger, but bigger than Leotha in terms of size. So just to give you a sense of scale between these titanic monsters that I enjoy having. Um, <laughs> you... And as you begin to encroach, you see that there appears to be an eagle that is flying uh, towards all of you. Uh, but as it flies, you see that it is much, much, it's getting larger and larger as you see it, so it's not nearly the size of an eagle. And as it comes closer to your ship, uh, it moves and transforms into this sort of bipedal ant-like creature. Uh, that then just sort of like stands aloft with these like resplendent bronze. It's made completely out of bronze uh, wings. Oh. Uh, and as it sort of like stares out uh, at you all, uh, you see uh, moving on. Uh, so its mouth uh, has those, um, what's that word? Pinchies. The, the pincers. The, pincers. <laughs> pincers. Uh, the mandible. Mandibles. 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 That's the word. Uh, That's what on we its got mandibles. under here. Uh, it, if they were in two, <laughs> it it opens up, uh, and for those familiar with uh, magical spells, under the guise of a magic mouth spell, uh, you hear a voice uh, come through the other side, and it just says, "Hello, uh, I do not Hi. get many visitors here. State your name and business." Uh, and you see Tior as he walks up, and he says, "Well, um." Dalakos. Uh, my name is Tior Stormmane. Uh, perhaps you have heard of me. Um, a moment passes and you say... Kind of a big deal. <laughs> Aldrin also <laughs> seen <laughs> us. Hello. Hi. Hey. Uh, Hello? You see, you, you see Dalakos as a moment passes and you hear the voice uh, says, I know the name. What and your compatriots. Uh, and you see Tior says, well, this is uh, Mimi. Uh, this is a pixie. Uh, this is uh, Vessi Aquino. Uh, this is Deo Nikitas. And this is Solstice. Hello. Hello. No, it's not intentional by any means, but because Deo and I are the only two with the last names given all the time, it makes me think like we're the two kids that are in trouble. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Diogenes Nikitas! <laughs> Don't say uh, Diogenes, please! <laughs> um, uh, you then... Don't say my lame name! <laughs> you then uh, hear uh, the voice of Dalakos as he goes, you have not stated your business. And uh, you see Tiora says, you are correct. Uh, we are here in need of a favor. Uh, we had saw a vision uh, of you and that informs us that we are in dire need of your talents. A moment passes, and you hear Dalakos as he says, Very well. I shall have you all join me in my workshop. Uh, and he says, Make your way to the mouth, and uh, you will find uh, the entrance there. Uh, and... 
you see Tier nods, and this sort of ant-like creature then uh, transforms back into that eagle, and it flies back to the massive workshop. Uh, Tior, He's cool. Tior, is wicked. <laughs> Tior then um, guides. I had the... a friend no. like that once, you know. And Tior then... I'll tell you more later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tior guides the ship towards the mouth, and you watch uh, as the bottom of the mouth begins to open up slightly uh, so that you can see this sort of more opened up frame. Uh, and as the ship sort of sails underneath, you're very easily able to see uh, there then appears to be, as you look up, you just see that it is more of a wooden uh, and metal uh base framework above where the roof of the mouth would be there is instead that sort of like a metal wow. and uh wooden ceiling um you then uh watch as uh once that happens as the ship uh, sort of essentially gets docked uh you then see uh lowering out uh, is just a circular uh platform that appears to just levitate down towards all of you uh and it makes its way towards onto the ship uh where and upon you see that uh ant sort of eagle um construct uh waiting there uh for all of you tior sort of like steps on and he just says no time to waste I, I suppose so. I'll get on yeah. it. Yeah! I run on it as fast as I can. Uh, you all make your way on as the platform uh, levitates itself back up towards the top. Once you get... Once the platform matches with the ceiling, you are now standing on uh, the floor to this workshop. And what this workshop that you can see before you is uh, a is a workshop unlike anything that you've ever seen before in your life. There are hundreds uh, of hundreds of contraptions and mechanisms all splayed out through the room. You see that there is this large wall where there are several, um, like, these hand-drawn... Um, blueprints for all of these other different contraptions that are all just sort of laid out across the entire wall seemingly in a, in a matter of chaos uh and that wall is hugged by these two spiral staircases that lead up to this sort of upper deck oh, yeah. where there appears to be even like more uh items and stuff where the eye sockets would be there are instead these resplendent glass uh, windows that sort of outlook uh, the Siren Sea uh, and you see uh, moving up towards the top uh, I'll send an image for our um, people in the chat uh, or our um, players uh, and then I'll try to describe uh, this figure to the chat here it was so uh, oh, so uh, you froze. You, froze. A... you froze oh sorry I froze uh, so I just, just sent... for like a little bit no worries. So all I'm saying is that I just sent an image for our players to see, and I'll try to describe to uh, the chat. You Whoa, see this hey, very dude. regal uh, triton oh, man he's handsome. with this, <laughs> with this oh, very no. deep uh, <laughs> blue, uh, very bright blue skin, um, really sharp uh, defining features to his face and both his what arms. A hug. He has this long resplendent fin uh, that outstretches from there. Uh, that sort of fades from this light blue to a sort of more light, uh, darkish purple. Uh, around him, covered, is all of these resplendent bronze trims uh, that outline his own toga. Uh, and what's not shown in the picture, which I'll describe to all of you, is that on his back there are the set of a magnificent set of bronze wings uh, that sort of begin outstretch and then recoil themselves uh, back in uh, towards his back. Uh, and as he stands uh, aloft towards uh, the top and looks at all of you, he just says, uh, Welcome. This is my workshop. Um... Please don't touch anything. Um, I suppose you all would like something to drink? <laughs> that would be delightful. Pixie, he is far too old for you. <laughs> I 
even said a thing. <laughs> Old for, um, what? Oh, no, it. I'm... Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's okay. You don't want to know. So, um, um. What, do you have to, do you, what do you have to drink? Do you have cheese? To drink? Cheese? <laughs> you mean queso? The drink. Oh, oh of drink. course. Um, Drinkable I'm... cheese. <laughs> yeah, we we lost our milk keg. He's got so. cheese with us. Milk tea. Um, do you have milk? It's the whipped cream of cheese. Um, oh, God. I can get some milk You're not if wrong. that is what um, you would like. Water or wine is also fine. I have water. Right. Wonderful. That's totally water is fine. Always good. Uh, and you see as his wings outstretch as he sort of leaps off the edge of the balcony and sort of like flies down. Uh, and as he walks past uh, all of you, you see as he heads towards where the torso of the the kraken would be, uh, he sort of like moves through. And as you look behind you, you then see lining the torso, there are several rooms that are all sort of like lining along this two-story like structure. Each and every Ooh. room is resplendent in a different environment. One looks like it is like a mountainous region that has all of these different ores in it. Another one looks like a uh, magnificent garden that has uh, hundreds of plants. Uh, essentially what you see in, is in each and every room, there is resources and materials for everything that could be used to make or craft something. Uh, Roman and, Epcot. And you uh, pass through all <laughs> All these dozens of rooms you eventually come upon one room uh that has this like uh all of these like herds of like animals um but oh. they're like made out of these like little figurines uh and you then yeah. see that yeah. he takes yeah. one yeah. of them as to look to be like this cow uh and as he sort of like places it on this like little pedestal the environment then like shifts and sort of transforms oh. almost as if it teleports to a different area where and then upon there's just like this herd of cows uh and then from there you watch as he goes up to um one of the cows uh and gets fresh milk uh and as he oh, yeah. Yeah. Raw raw milk. Moisturized. Raw yeah. as milk. he as he uh has, it, gains chance. all of these different buckets he then takes the cow figurine off of the pedestal it sort of changes you then see him walk to a different room uh where and upon he sort of like pours the milk into this like oh huge God. metal contraption uh and Is as it does so us his, <laughs> and as it happens all of this thing sort of like filter out he presses a couple of buttons and you you see uh, seven He's glasses perfect. get created, uh, and they each pour uh, milk into these glasses from oh, this like <laughs> little makeshift conveyor belt. Uh, and then from there, uh, he still has a couple <laughs> as he like clicks through. He just says, um, one second. And as he clicks through a couple of buttons, uh, it takes a little time, and then this just plate of cheese gets added on uh, <laughs> to it. <laughs> Uh, and as he sort of like, you see, oh. as he looks at all of this, Magic you see that he sort of like turns one of the rings on his finger uh, and all of the glasses and the cheese sort of like levitate for a moment. Uh, and then they sort of like float over to all of you uh, for you to just like grab and uh, oh. as you please. Uh, Thanks. The the pixie's gonna have an aneurysm with this. <laughs> I can he's only do this hunky. With one, he's awkward. He's just hand. like me. He's just like me, hand. for real. <laughs> I have a passed out. just like one us, here. for real. But when the cheese plate's getting closer to her, you see Vessie doing like the grabby hand thing of just. Theo's <laughs> <laughs> gonna swipe a piece that she's grabbing for. He's gonna like, uh, like slap in his hand. <laughs> Catch it with the other one and just. <laughs> I'm sorry. They. Jeez. <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry. They do this. Um, th thank you so much for welcoming us. Ugh, welcoming us into your home. Uh, it. We very much appreciate it. It's lovely. Yeah. Never seen a pl place quite like it. Um. Thank yeah. you. Um. I love this awkward man. <laughs> and uh, you see, Tiora just says, "We." graciously appreciate this hospitality it's unlike anything that we've had in quite some time and you see Dalakos as he nods he says good that is good um you had business uh with me yes 
And you see, um, Tira says, uh, yes, uh, is there a place you would like to, uh, more comfortable for you? He says, well, I do not have guests, uh, often. Um, but I do have, um, I'm sure I can, why don't we talk in my workshop? And he sort of, like, guides you back to his, uh, workshop, uh, and as he sort of turns and looks and he just says, What is your business? Uh, and you see Tira says, Well, um, I should say, first of all, uh, it is truly an honor to, f- to uh, formally meet you in person. I've heard uh, simply stories of your um, uh, wondrous innovations, and uh, it is uh, truly a, a sight to behold. And he sort of nods and yeah. he says, uh, Yes. You see two this is me whenever I have guests. I'm awkward <laughs> as hell. This, this is, is a color factual. Post. You see TR. Agreed. Says, <laughs> you like water? Well, um, of course. Uh, now, as I had mentioned, we we had uh, ran to the Temple of Destiny and uh, had saw a vision of you uh, in which you would potentially be able to aid us uh, in our... Mission. And he says, And what is that mission? He says, Well, uh, what I can tell you, um, tasked from Kyrnos, uh, he had asked me uh, to find uh, an island uh, unseen by mortals and gods. And the defining feature of this island is uh, its sands are as dark as the Nyx sky. You see Dalakos nods and he says, That sounds difficult. Um, it would mean that this is not something that perhaps is... Hmm. Okay. So, that is... Alright. What's there? <laughs> uh, and you see, uh, Tiari says, <laughs> Well, um, I'm not at full liberty to disclose that. Uh, Kyrnos has tasked me uh, to find uh, this island. And also but, not even told us what's going to be on the island, you know? Uh, yeah. It is... Uh, well, he doesn't know! As How can you know something that hasn't been charted yet? Oh, it's a good point. As um, Kyrnos had uh, explained to me that this would act as the good of all the citizens of Theros. You see um, Dalkas as he nods, he says. Okay. That poses some difficulties, certainly. Um, if it is an island that is hidden itself from mortals and gods, then it. That's in, that's a problem for sure. Um, hmm. Well, we could. If we were to not necessarily find it, but instead find uh, the path, and finding the path would not necessarily be what it is. Hmm. I have a few ideas, and um, I would be uh, willing to help. I have a number of uh, problems that I am currently working on, um, but I'd be happy to do this after I resolve those. Um, so uh, I will say uh, I should be able to have something that would be able to age you in roughly three years. Uh, and you see oh, Tior as he good. says, "Good." Well, um, we could stay. That uh, <laughs> might not be <laughs> the exact timeline that we were um, uh, most hoping for. Um, is it possible that this project could be in any way pushed to the front of the line? You see Dalekos as he nods, he says, No, 
Um, <laughs> it is. That's okay. Guess we have to I stay. Like the, I like the God damn it. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't like that. It's, <laughs> it's well. Um, I have a number of things uh, on my plate that I am trying to um, tackle. And they all seem to be happening at once, so I can't necessarily tackle all of them before. Um, Potential. Yes, and uh, what was your name again? You were Solstice, correct? Um, yes, Uh, and I I hold out my left hand. Uh, He looks at her for a second, he says. Um, what? Oh, uh, 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 I just want, I'm introducing myself. I wanted to shake your hand. Isn't that what people do? Yeah, you can shake my hand too. (laughs) He is too old for you. (laughs) What I am. Shake her hand, please. She hasn't done, Um, but this is a new thing for her. And she doesn't normally do it. Just encourage it. Like this. Just you grab. You shake a little, and Uh, then you're done. Solstice, I'm going to need a persuasion check. Ooh. Meanwhile, <laughs> like, Essie's taking a pixie's hand and being like, you do it like this. <laughs> and you can shake the hand as long about as you this. want. Mm-mm. What'd you get? Mm-hmm. That, was, that was bad. Uh... <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, Farika. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I got a seven. Uh, oh, you, no. see, you see he nods and he says, um... No, thank you. Okay, well, I just wanted to to say that what if we helped you with your projects and perhaps we could help them get finished faster and then you could help us with ours. Yeah, and you could teach us how to do the projects and stuff, you know. That, that could be useful. Um... That would certainly save a lot of time. I think a pixie is and picturing like that scene from Ghost where they will be putting like, on her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> sure we're like doing it properly. Well, the the issues at hand are um, of rather dodgy circumstances. I don't know how else oh. to explain it. I I have many um, contacts with. Uh, many of the Triton communities uh, within the Siren Sea. Um, oh, we just helped helped one. Marvelous. It like not directly, but there is a. Uh, Her name uh, is Alrin. Oh no! Oh no! The, the 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 yeah, there was a community whose supply Alvin chain got cut all... off, and and we we Alvin stopped Harpy also... Queen. Alrin is also though a, a Triton. That's just an oracle. Ah, uh, Ulrin, Oracle of Thassa. Yeah. Yes, we helped her. She's our bestie. Well, if you helped her, then I would imagine that all of you have good intentions, which votes better for this arrangement. Yes, arrangement. Um. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna kill me every time. Okay. You, you see Dalakos. Yeah. Sort of, Dalakos, he sort of like looks at a pixie for a second and then he goes. Um. So, as I understood. Uh, Does he smile like that? <laughs> go ahead and give, go ahead and give me an insight check. Ah. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody come <laughs> beat her. Okay, this is I'm done with this dice. I keep rolling threes. Oh. So that's an eight. <laughs> an eight? I don't know what his face look like. I'll make an inside check. Yes, yeah, okay, also you can make an inside check. Go for it. <laughs> Let's see if I, I hope everybody rolls low and you all it, think he's super into her. her. Yeah. Inside, <laughs> we it, forgot uh, about Pathos. That is going oh, I to didn't be... forget about Thassos. The pixie loves all hunky men and women. Look, a pixie needs a bit. <laughs> she can have a heart. A... I mean, how She's you do allowed. It? A twenty-one. I... 
I mean, character. Uh, Mimi. I mean, loves her. You She's get, a descendant of Pan. You get the sense Dada. from Dalakos that he's <laughs> that he is very hungry on an eight. That you think that he's <gasps> just like you just think that he's just he just hasn't had any food for a while. Oh. Uh, and that he. Oh, is, I thought he was gonna uh, eat her. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. You just think you just think that the thought that crosses his mind is I, I mean, have yeah, I have not had dinner I have not had dinner oh, no. yet. And so um and you just, oh. have, just have sounded like the like the like the secretary from Monsters Inc. Like the yeah, sure. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we say that in my house like at least my once a day. Wazowski. Um, but yeah, maybe you get the sense that he's just thinking asking. about on an eight that he's just like, I haven't had dinner yet and I need to like eat. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, like that's maybe me he understands over the at anyone's alone. house. <laughs> uh, Solstice, uh, you get the sense that Dalikos <laughs> deeply has zero understanding on what Epixie is feeling and that confuses him to no end and he's trying not to focus on it because he has zero understanding of what's happening. Oh, and Don't he's the one to figure I'll things out. You. I understand that. <laughs> I understand that completely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I made like I'm a little offended because I made Mimi the hunkiest woman I could, um, and a pixie talks to her just mom. fine. <laughs> and, oh, that's um, fair. That's fair. You're my mom. You're <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, weird. Um, um, mm. all right. It is. Is there something that is deeply important to you in your life? that you feel you'd you'd never forgive yourself if you didn't do that before you passed. I'm going to need a persuasion check at disadvantage. Right? I'm going to be like, <laughs> what's your <laughs> deepest, darkest Eric, secret, man? I met yeah, five minutes like ago. Staring hard. Yeah, now that we've all shared a glass of milk. Okay. Okay. Well, so it's, the problem is, is that all the reason why it's at disadvantage is that the way that that question was asked is that you ask something that has that about his past is deeply troubles him constantly. Oh. So <laughs> that's why it's at disadvantage. No, I was asking about is there? Okay. All right. I so, didn't so, think about that. So what that was such you... a solstice thing to do? No, for sure. That was a nat one. Okay. Yeah. So, horribly. He's going to kick us out. No one knows how to talk to this you handsome see, hunk of a fish man. These, so, these are my dungeon master dice. This, 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 <laughs> so what was the question that you had asked him specifically? Like what was something that... The question that... was, is there something that you... Is there something that you... That's very important to you that you'd feel bad if you didn't get to accomplish that before? Um, you see that he pauses for a very long time as he looks at you and he sort of looks away for a second and he just says I my... I, like this is... I like to think this is part of it yeah. <laughs> my... oh, oh. you pause I... Mysterious. <laughs> I have been working for a very long time. The only thing that I want in this life is to help. That is all it um, has ever been. I just wanted to say that I ask that because Tior here feels that finding this place, he has to find it before before he passes. It's it's sort of the last adventure he's he's ever going. Oh, to that go was on. a rhetorical question. I did not get that. <laughs> no, no, it was a rhetorical. Are you saying this out oh. loud so that Tior can hear? He, yeah. <laughs> I, Guys, yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen, hold me. Like, no, no, no. Let her finish. To to die <laughs> let her cook. <laughs> let her finish. I, She's on to something. I mean, I, I just wanted to say that it, if Tior can't find this island, it, 
it, it seems like he cares about it a lot. And um, I, I'm just trying to, I, I'm not from here, I'm from somewhere else and, and I, I may seem awkward and shy, but I'm trying to say that if you care about something so much and uh, that you, you would feel terrible if, if you couldn't finish that. Uh, you that's see, how Tior feels. You, you see Tior, he says, I think what Solstice is trying to say with <laughs> the earnest Solstice, singer, you did so good, with, don't with, even worry with about it. As, <laughs> and you see Tior, as he says, as bluntly like and as honest as Solstice has stated. Solstice is right. Um, I go and I, I, I just, I walk <laughs> away and I, I go to the very corner of the workshop. <laughs> I just, I just sit down and like. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's but okay. Sometimes you just bomb it's, a conversation. It's okay, bud. It's okay. <laughs> um, that wasn't that like, no, 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 that, that was really so good. One. No, that was so Solstice, good. I love that. Though, I was so proud of her. It worked. I'm not mad. I'm yeah. not mad. So well. That's, okay. That's just how wanna... Solstice was was gonna do that. A hundred percent. No, you you played that thing. perfectly. As as she in that one. She needs a moment to breathe. Let her breathe. Yeah. So yeah, I I, I just want to say bravo. That was a, a well portrayed. Now so one. good. I don't want to um, leave the conversation because I want to keep an eye on Tior. So instead, Bessie's gonna just make a tiny little spiritual weapon that once again isn't gonna actually hurt anything it's just there to be thing but you just watch as like a tiny little like chippy sized version of Vessie just waddles over to Solstice <laughs> in the corner and just like <laughs> oh. also <laughs> Dan yes. you have a DM's accomplice from Dabs oh, beautiful thank you Dabs can you not True. imagine like a tiny little chunky blue baby <laughs> just walks up and just goes <laughs> it's the <laughs> really <laughs> confident wide armed like Oh. Walk. Yeah. Uh, I should have used like, my like player's Tama. Well, <laughs> didn't do that. No worries. But, uh, For next time. Uh, you, see next time. As you see Tior, as he says, as bluntly uh, as it was put, Solstice is right. And whatever you are looking to to help others, we would be more than happy to help you in that endeavor. You see Dalakos as he pauses for a second. Sort of regains and he just says, I... If you are willing to help, then you are willing to help. And I would greatly appreciate uh, the aid. The issue at hand is less about making something that is going to solve this and more so about trying to understand uh, problems that have arisen in the Triton cities. Um, the Triton cities of Osatria, uh, Neneris, and Abyssareth are all, I suspect, in some form of danger. Separate from each other, um, I, to my knowledge and what I know, is that there is some form of foul play uh, at hand here. Uh, Osatria, uh, which is the largest uh, and most populated of the Triton cities, uh, is currently in the midst of a rather unnerving uh, political um, transition, uh, upon which the recent queen uh, had passed and her her two uh, twin daughters, uh, Aiden and uh, Orin, both she are... She got creative with those names. Aiden <laughs> um, and Orin are... Or, yeah, Orin are currently trying to dispute whether or not uh, who claims uh, the rightful rule uh, of Osatria. Neneris uh, is a well prolific, uh, wealthy city uh, built uh, next to one of the volcanic volcanic vents uh, under the uh, Siren Sea. Uh, however, uh, the the volcanic vent had recently been inactive, and which shouldn't happen. 
Uh, and then lastly, uh, Abyssereth, which is the deepest of the Triton cities, uh, resting along uh, the deepest trench within the Siren Sea. Uh, there is some unknown uh, disease that has made its way through the city, uh, through some magical source. If you have any more questions, if you have any more questions about these cities and, and things involved, I'm happy to answer those questions to the best of what I know. For DM, how do you spell the second city? Uh, so the so the second city is N I N N I R I S. I wasn't close. Okay. I spelled it phonetically. I always spell things phonetically. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's. <laughs> Abyssereth, Neniris, and Ocetria. Ocetria. Yeah, Ocetria is O C E T R I A. I got that one. And then Abyssereth is A B Y S R E T H. Neniris as well. Ocelot. Got it. Ocelot. Croissant. Croissant. Yeah, croissant. Just be gingerbread, God. man. Um, the, I do have one question. Obviously, it's hard to put, like, importance, or rather we say, like, no, put one at the top when they're all problems, but, like, if you had to say that, like, one is your main issue, like, which would you say is, like, the main thing? Like, fix this first. Well, I would like to know more about the understanding of the volcanic vent in uh, Neniris in its um, inactivity. Um, naturalistically speaking, if we are um, to chart the volcanic vent's um, path in terms of active and inactivity, uh, it should not be inactive um, based off of the natural readings of it. Uh, thus, um, it is of most peculiarness to me in, in terms of trying to understand what is happening. Uh, I know that the uh, foreman of Neneris, um, uh, Dizzer, um, Dyersis, has um, proclaimed that it is um, nothing, but I have suspicions of some form of foul play and again i believe all of these conflicts that are happening within these cities is of directly related to some form of foul play i do not know who uh, i do not know why uh, and i do not know to what extent but something about these issues do not strike as run of the mill i would say that makes sense. Uh, other question. <clears throat> yes. We... This is all under the ocean, right? Yes. Oh, in, in that question. endeavor, you don't have to worry about that. I have um, apparatuses uh, that would allow you to uh, not only swim uh, effectively, uh, but uh, breathe effectively. We get wow. scuba suits! I mean, I already have one, but... I would like one. Party Baywatch? <laughs> hey, but I really don't want to go to the deep ocean, because that is where Nyx puts her worst creations. Oh. Freaks me the hell out. Oh, you don't like anglerfish? Like no, of course. Fish. I'm a human being. Have What's you seen those? They're it's like, like this. Big Imagine the worst dude. jaws you've ever seen, oh. with just big orb eyes oh. that just bulge out. I don't and it's got a little light those. in front of its head. But that's They're the, the worst. Dead that ones would wash beauty. up sometimes on the beach, and me and my friends would kick them. Oh, it's like the beauty but of alive the ocean, they suck. Don't say that in front of so big. No, everything in the ocean can just get so big because of all the space, you know? Oh, Don't those tell giant, me that! Those I'm getting giant nervous! Squids and the oarfish! Well, oh. I know there's giant squ- What's an oarfish? <gasps> They're like a, a <laughs> million feet long! Maybe the, I can just 
Let's stay here with him. This all sounds scary. I know what you're doing. Okay. Um, Creepy. we don't have to go down <laughs> there. <laughs> They're gonna have to go into mean? the water, though. You see, Tiori just says, If you don't want to go to Abyssareth, I'm happy to make that journey myself. So yep, I'll go to Abyssareth. I don't. Thanks, I'll, I'll cool. Go with, I'll go with. Tiori. I'll, I'll go to. You're gonna. We're gonna split the. You're gonna go with Tiori? <laughs> she, 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 because she's. Nah, never mind. You go to the undersea. She doesn't trust him. If he says, I'm going here, she's gonna be like. <laughs> like, well, Bessie, I, I will say that it, he handled the dragon issue on his own and it took all of us to take down the harpies. I think it may be best if we stick together. And I kind of like give you a look of like, I understand, but at the same time, let's not <laughs> die. <laughs> Plus, I mean, <laughs> the only rep response you get is just like a... You see, oh, says, if... No, no, no. I think Vessie should go under the ocean. She'd find things that look a lot like her anyway. Hi, like Elbow me. Deo. What is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> you see, um, you see, Tiara just says, I'm, if you want to go to Abyssaruth, you're welcome to. I'm, I'm happy to help with any of these uh, issues. I think it might be best if um, Dalikos, if you, there's one area that you have a peculiar, um, particular interest in, you're welcome to follow suit. Um, if uh, our party members um, would like to follow to the other one, and I can head to whichever is remainder, or, or however we want to divvy it up. Uh, I come back over. <laughs> and like to... What are we talking about? You know that video Angler of the birds? Fish. Different levels of underwater. You know that video of the bird slapping its feet on the ground as it walks its own, like... <laughs> yeah. You hear yeah. that sound of, like, little baby Bessie before she disappears as she's, like, strutting back behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I froze again. Sorry. Sorry, stream. E cool. We've got We're a just... cat fight. Hold up. You did. Froze. froze again. <laughs> Yeah, we've got uh, the the image, and although one. I loved the idea of them just talking over each other at the same time. Like, okay, so there's this one. Yeah, so like we, this did the we got hold up, we got disconnected. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, we didn't for so long. Wait, full really? we, was, we was so long. No. We didn't have any so issues. Close. Uh, oh, it looks like we're back. Yeah, no, we're back. Oh, we, we should be back. Yeah, I don't. It said we re viewers? it said we reconnected, so we should be good. Okay. Yay. Uh, I think from when it paused, or at least for me, and the stream can. Oh on yeah. This. Uh, I think yeah. the stream is also delayed, so it might take a little while. But oh, there um, we go. I see, I see it now. But yeah, yeah, I uh, once uh, I think it would cut cut off right when Vessi or Ty when you were explaining the mini uh, Vessi that was. Um, a walking oh, yeah. its way up. Pitter anybody, pattering. Yeah, for anybody who missed that, if you know that TikTok of the bird that's like stomping around, that's basically the sound you hear. It's just like <laughs> it's like it's like walking by. Yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, so there's three different cities. One seems to be a cat fight. Uh just but not, who cats. Gets to be king. not real oh, cats. Yeah, I, They're just two it's... girls who both want to be yeah, so this... or something. There's some drama, um, and then in another one, there's a volcanic vent that seems to be inactive when it shouldn't be. And the last one, which seems to be the least popular, is um, in the deepest trench of the ocean, and there's a disease that is spreading that seems to have magic origins. A disease? It does, you see that's the information says, I have. Uh, yes, uh, I do not understand the uh, lengths of it, but because of its rapidness, I'm willing to um, understand it so that it is of magical means. Magical. Um, has... Do you know if Ulrin has visited that city recently? Uh, I would not know. Um, Did ask her? I don't want to go in the bottom of the ocean. I'm just... I'm concerned about people who are... Did Ulrin are... seem sick to you? Because that's rather specific. Not, not uh, when we 
first met. Um. Never mind. We we can go to. Uh, I'm worried the... about a volcano being sick. That just, I mean. You see, Dalakos as he sort of stares for a moment. He says, "I suppose you could word it like that." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, that isn't. I yeah. find that more interesting than like two girls fighting over like a popularity contest. And should we vote? I'm I'm down with that. I'd it. say that that works. All right, so um, every everyone for Osatria, the the cat fight. Anyone? Sure. <laughs> uh, you get then, you get one vote. Damn. Yeah, you get one vote. <laughs> Only one, because you're only one person. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, it's Cat a... fight. Okay, and then for Nenarius? I might be saying that wrong. Which, which one is that one again? Oh, the, the volcano. Volcano. The volcano. Uh, uh. The other option is the bottom of the ocean with the sick people. So, what's this? What I are thought... you going to vote for? I thought we were voting already for mm. option three. Nenarius. Oh. Nen... Uh, oh, the volcano? No, uh, sorry. Uh, Os- Osatria. Os- Os- so, let me rephrase. Um, yeah, oh, no. Osatria. I held this most Abyss- very Abyssarith. poorly. Uh, Abyssarith. Abyssarith is the one that I... Okay, we're going to try this one more time. <laughs> Cat fight. Show of hands. Okay, hands down. Oh, wait, I'll vote with Deo. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I high five. Volcano, volcano. Yeah. show of hands. Okay, no one wants to go to Volcano. Okay, and then Abyssal. But, but that go was ahead. your vote, baby. Yeah, what was your vote? Oh, shit. Um... You gotta break the tie! <laughs> I, I don't know. So, it's up to you Mimi You pick the over to Deo. You're the vice president I, go, of I voted on purpose so we could have a tie. <laughs> no, awesome. you don't them. <laughs> So... So, so can Mimi, I, can I make a perception check to hear that? Like <laughs> sure. To hear that. sure, absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Pixie, not, I mean, I'm Pixie, only give really me a, Give me a stealth check. She's first. here for the okay. a stealth. A right, stealth. Maddie, I like yeah. how you said sure, but Dan said sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a 17 for my stealth. Okay, Solstice, that's the DC you need. for your stealth and a perception yeah, check. Yeah, just to hear her say that I just voted just for the tie. <laughs> I got an 18. There oh, you go. So you heard Solstice her. Heard her. <laughs> Pixie. <gasps> were you eavesdropping? No, you were just really loud. <laughs> I do have a very my voice travels. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you embarrassed. It's just no, the... I'm I'm not embarrassed at all. I mean, I'll... you have five seconds to vote. I'll tell you what. I'm so Mimi could break the tie. I'll have three. Two. One. Okay, we'll go, we'll go to Abyssarith. No! Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't want to speak for the party. <laughs> Too bad. But you're the. You're or you're our den mother. Or, is that what you call den it? Den mother. Sure. Or, I've had party mom, but I'm, I'm only a. F- how, wait, how old are all of you? I'm not that much older than you guys. So you I'm see. 19 and a half. <laughs> you see Dalikos as he goes, so to understand what had just occurred. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know, Dalikos, you, you, you've made Adam as a Triton man. <laughs> this is the man I live with. <laughs> Uh, he, he see, he as he Green. goes, you all have voted on heading to Abyssareth to find the source. Uh, yes. Very well. Uh, I shall uh, make my plans you for... Do it, Deo, you're brave. Uh, then. Uh, Everything's uh, ugly down there. You see, Tior says... That means we'll be really cute. Well, uh, I personally have never visited the magnificent city of Osatria, but <laughs> I would be gladly be able to help go and um, chat with the royal palace uh, on uh, their debates and discussions. What are you saying? Hmm? Sorry, I distracted him. Didn't hear what you were saying. I, I'm electing to head I to Osatria. Okay. 
I'm just picturing him being like, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> he's ladies. doing all of the oh, like. At God. least it's not dragons this time. Yeah, he's it's talking down like all of the conflicts. conflicts. It's like he's gonna con like that. He's a counselor. Jurassic World, where it's like all of the Velociraptors, but it's just Tior and like a <laughs> yeah. bunch of the Chris of Pratt zookeeper <laughs> scene. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, uh, Dalcross as he says, very well. Um, I shall um, set up. Uh, transport for um, each of you uh, to make your way. Um, I will also get you um, outfitted. Uh, it'll take some time. Uh, however, uh, I would also like to extend to you, uh, if there is something that you would like to use uh, from my workshop, uh, you are welcome to do so. None of them are f complete, um, and so you may run into some issues. And what I'm going to tell you as players is this. Um, you can ask uh, for any item up to a uh, level of rarity uh, for one item. However, each of these items uh, are going to come with a bug in the sense that it's possible that when you use them, they may uh, jam uh, or break. Uh, when you use them. So, so what you're so, saying is this is cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, um, so you're welcome Wait, up to, to how rare? Uh, just rare. Rare. Okay. Uh, so you're welcome to sit and sort of think on it for a little while, because obviously, of course, um, you won't have the final decision, but uh, it's just Boy. something for you all to think about for at the week's end. Um, <laughs> I think we should all just ask for guns. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine? Let's, um, let's not do that. May I, may I, uh... <laughs> let's. May I'm I... not actually going to put a stop on that. Yeah. I'm sorry, blunderbuss. Uh -huh. I should have said that instead. <laughs> That's what Portia has. <gasps> um, the least predictable weapon I... you could possibly <laughs> outside a musket. Dan, you uh... said there were different rooms with different kind of ecosystems mm -hmm. in them. Can I wander? Is there a forest one? Uh, yeah, you absolutely may. May I wander to the forest one? Uh, sure. Yeah, you begin to wander. We'll jump back to that in a moment. Um, can, can I go up to Dalakos real quick? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to hand him one day of rations because he looked hungry. <laughs> and just be like, <laughs> be like... How Darling, kind. I know that you work so hard, but you're wasting away. Please eat something. And I'm going to hand him that. Um, and then also be like, also, she's 19. <laughs> uh, he kind of looks I'm... at you for a second and he just <laughs> says, um, my first question. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> of which there are many. Sorry, that was a gross laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was, it was appropriate. Uh, he says, um, uh, it's, he says, uh, my first question, um, what is, is this, as he sort of like looks at the rations, oh. he's like, Ooh, what do I have? Uh, well, this is so cool. Sorry. Can, <laughs> can I just, can it just be like dried meats and like. Yeah. cheese and stuff um yeah, it, it's like it's a charcuterie board essentially but in a little pack um, i give them a lunchable i, I, I need to, nice. to tell you that i know you said it correct that like charcuterie board but i oh, heard charcuterie no i heard charcuterie board and i was like Aww. oh share share <laughs> Uh, he's, he sort of, <laughs> uh, he, he, he nods and he goes, thank you. I appreciate this gesture. My second question, uh, who are you talking about? Cause I haven't the faintest idea. Oh, oh um, I'm so, oh, uh, that's, oh, so, um, well, I'm, I'm Mimi and, uh, the little Sata girl who uh -huh. keeps making eyes at you, uh, her name is a pixie. And what she, she, she loves a. She, she's looking. How do I say this bitch wants you so bad without Baby, saying no. it like that? <laughs> what is she doing? The, the, making eyes like she. She seems very fond of you. In. 
Uh, just mom, uh, you're uh, embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> Doing this for your own good. <laughs> I, I just want you to know she's very young, and that uh, you would not be a good romantic prospect for her. I don't know that if that's at all your intent, um, but Is I that think that what might that be means? hers. What are you guys talking <laughs> about? Is that what that Mary? means? This no, is so no, embarrassing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, having no. I'm having this conversation away from my Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will yeah, aid you here by just picking a pixie up, putting her on my shoulder, and just Peyota walking. Peyota you're just like, how can we get guns from this man? He, you see Dalico as he sort of looks at you, he just says, I, I don't, I, I don't want, want, no, what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no, that's poor and guy. I, I I appreciate it. I just like I wanted to be sure because she, you are a very large and charming man, and like you're quite handsome. Like I'm just going to be real, but uh, she's been Thank kind you. of eyeing uh -huh. you, and I I wanted you to be aware, um, and that if you move on that in any way, I don't <laughs> care how skilled you are, I will end you. <laughs> Um, Mimi is on to catch I, a predator. <laughs> I would, I would like to make it known. Yes. Um, I have zero uh, romantic interest in anybody. Oh, ace Noted. representation. We Noted. love. That's. Matt, he's not ace. He's just got the highest standard possible. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's not a wrench, I don't want it. Exactly. They haven't come up with a so... word for what I am. I, I appreciate it, and I didn't mean any offense. I just, I, I know she can get caught up in her feelings, and some people would take advantage of that. And again, I do not mean any offense. I just met you today, so I don't know what kind of man you are. So. Um. Okay. But you have a lovely <laughs> home! <laughs> you see Dal because he says, Um, thank you. I. Eat your snacks, I'm going to go. I. I'm terribly sorry for this awkward interaction. Eat your I just. Snacks. Yeah, eat, go eat your snacks. Like, go have a juice box. Just decide to talk to him now to see who can do it the best. Uh, <laughs> that was you, almost all out of mine. Yeah. yeah. I went, don't fuck with my rolled that too. Yeah. yeah. You, it's just see, one better than me. You see, he nods, and as he's like, start to walk away, you just see him go. Oh, <laughs> at least he's eating. Oh, no. nice. I, I didn't yeah. mean to hurt his feelings. I just, yeah. she's so I little. Mean, I didn't mean to hurt <laughs> his feelings, just instill the wrath of a warrior in him. <laughs> he needs me, to know what are you talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> After Mimi finishes this conversation, Nessie's oh, going to no. walk over, pass a pixie to her. And she's gonna like Wee. go running over and pull out her own little Wee. bit of like dried fish jerky and hand it to the dude and be oh, like, "Hello." I, yeah, just wanted to say like, sorry about all my party companions. This is just how they are. Don't take it against them. They're just. <laughs> oh, I forgot <laughs> to tell him something. Shit. <laughs> no, no. Amy, where are you going? <laughs> it had nothing to do with the pixie. It was actually important for the mission. Fuck. <laughs> uh <-huh>. um... <laughs> Um, my priorities. I um, just wanted to tell you that, like, just I know they're probably stressing you out. Just don't, don't worry about. It. It's just, just they are just me. Take care. All right. Um. <laughs> thank you. I Don't it, appreciate bro. that. <laughs> She's gonna be like, have a good lunch and just like, kind of like, just bump him on the shoulder because she knows that he's not gonna give a fist bump back and just go. <laughs> and then just walk away as Vessie is walking away because she is said oh Mimi is not allowed to talk to this man <laughs> Mimi can, can I try I don't think I can sneak past Vessie you'll have to, oh god you'll have to roll Mimi put me down to roll. <laughs> out with a pixie <laughs> I did it for your own good honey put me down, I'll put her down. I need to talk to him it's important oh god <laughs> 
Okay. okay. See, I'm gonna, okay. I'm going gonna let her pick the go, but I am going to stand where <laughs> I can hear this whole conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's Afterwards, just going to go up walk. and say, I really like your eagle oh, ant hello. contraption. Hi. I really <gasps> like your eagle ant contraption. Thank you. I had a friend oh, like God. that, but he was a centipede. Oh. Um, yeah, his name was Catacurm. Is... His gift to Nylea, yes. <laughs> yeah! You know him? I know of him. I know of all of Perforos' creations. He's pretty cool. That's all I'm gonna say. Bye. You didn't give him snacks! Goodbye. Oh! Here! <laughs> oh. It's a stale, like, scone from her mother's bakery. Oh, that's old oh. as shit, man! I, I saw <laughs> it. You know it is. He's giving you snacks. He looks at uh, it, looks at you, and he goes, "No, thank you." Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I walk away, <laughs> and her tail's low. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, okay, Mimi's gonna rush back I'm to this fine. man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry. One more thing. We just and keep I, going up and then walking I, 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 I know you are being kind of bombarded. I did want to say, when we end up in, on this unseen island, um, if there are any supplies that you'd be looking out for, like, I know you have ore here, but if, if there's things that we find that are, like, undiscovered, um, I'd be happy to bring some back for you for, uh, like, building your, your weapons and your many, like, mechanisms. Um, and that's, that, it was the part that had to do with the actual game, and not just making sure that it makes, he makes you bad see, decisions. You see, he <laughs> nods, and he goes, Great. I'll leave you be, and I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> you turn, you likely just see Bessie standing next to Day. Both of them are... Kind of going like, <laughs> like Mimi has a crush. Oh, Nico's gonna lean over to Bessie and be like, <laughs> "Okay, like at first I was having fun with this, and now it's just like getting really hard to enjoy." When, <laughs> yeah, when did we become like the normal people here? I don't. That's bad. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. Uh, I. How do you think I can get a gun? <laughs> it's really hard to fast on. Maybe she'll give you one. <laughs> now I'm not doing that. She made the deep sea. She made angler fish. Hey guys, what's up? Govan. Oh. Okay. Ugly fish again. Oh. God, I feel like an ugly fish right now. You're beautiful. Oh, fish. You're a pretty fish. No, there's one standing next to me. Um, the day of, I swear oh, to God. Oh, hold on, you guys. So sorry. Yeah, we, frozen. We, yeah we froze. <laughs> well, you've just oh, been no. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. We've I was trying to. I was trying to get a word. Frozen. I was trying to get a word in edgewise, and it just. <laughs> it, it just got disconnected. Uh, I think Oops. it. I think it disconnected. Oh, I think no. it. I think it disconnected right when um, Vessi was talking to Deo. Okay. Oh, well, the only, oh, the, only man. Sass, the only sass that came out of here was Deo asked for a gun. As he said that if you pray yeah. really hard, that Thassa will give you one for New Year's. And Deo <laughs> called her an ugly <laughs> fish. Uh, yeah. To which, to which Vessie replied saying, that's not nice to say about a pixie. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> You're all getting spankings. <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm gonna go look around at his contraptions and decide what I want to take with. And I'm gonna walk off and uh, take a look around at cool things. But I won't touch them, because he said not to touch anything. Uh, rock and roll. Uh, you said that there's a garden? There is a garden. I'm gonna head that way. Cool. <laughs> uh, Solstice, you head your way towards the forest room? Yes, the forest room. Mm -hmm. Um... I would like to, if there are trees around, just kind of, it's been a very long time since I've been in a forest, so it's <clears throat> very much a, an emotional uh, little time. Mm -hmm. I would like to <clears throat> sit down, 
uh, on my my knees. Um, I'd like to see if I can reach Nylea. Go ahead and give me a religion check at disadvantage. Um, you have a player's accomplice. I will say, for the record for everybody, is that everybody has one player's accomplice and then <clears throat> one guidance right now. Okay. I and I saw there's a couple inspo. But... I got an inspiration <clears throat> earlier for teaching a shark to love. Yes. <laughs> and the... and for Vex, which means she will be rolling it. Yes, both Vessi and Pixie. I know have the <laughs> player's accomplice is... The Can player's be a... accomplice is a... Can be an automatic uh, like, success if you want it to be. No, I'm, I'm good. I... Yes, I'm going to make it an automatic success. Okay. So, you sit... for a moment. And you sit within the trees. <clears throat> and even though this appears to be sort of um, stemming in sort of like this forest within a room sort of magically created, you get this sense of connectedness that you have not felt in a long time because you have not been in a forest for several months at this point and you sit there for a moment and as you sit there um, you see emerging out from behind one of the trees, there appears to be a wolf. And this wolf <clears throat> is <throat> peculiar in the sense that it has this light green fur and vines wrapping around its entire body and sort of accenting its eyes. And sort of I wolf. love them. And... Uh, the wolf walks up to you. Narlea? And she stares at you. I... I just... wanted to say that I'm sorry. I know that... you... You've raised me since I was little, and this isn't the first time that I've lost faith in you, and I'm not sure if you're going to forgive me again, but I, I do want to say that I am deeply, deeply sorry. And. I just really need to figure out who I am. And I did not mean to offend you in any way, as you are the closest thing to a mother that I've ever known. And I, I hope that perhaps when all is done, that you may give me a second chance. I love you very much. And, uh, I wait for a response. Not really expecting one. Go ahead and give me a persuasion check. <sighs> okay. Um. I see, uh, replenished that PC, by the way. Yes, so you, your PC's accomplice has been uh, refreshed, so you have another one. Cool. AC's the best. Thank yes. you. We love AC. 
<laughs> I'm going to use that. You use that. Uh, you watch as the wolf. It makes no gesture of menace or um, any particular <clears throat> expression. But you see as it stares at you for a moment. How are you positioned right now? Are you standing up in this forest? No, I'm on my knees. The wolf walks over to you and without <coughs> saying or, or showing anything it circles you several times for a moment until so eventually it lands in front of your knees and it simply lays down and it just curls its body around your knees. I hug it and lie down next to it. And I say, oh, I love you, mom. It rests its head against your legs. And until you decide to move, the wolf does not retreat. I stay. <clears throat> Rock and roll. Are there any other lines of business that anybody has any particular inkling towards? With the the garden, um, mm -hmm. is it like a like fruit and vegetable garden, or is it like just got like a ton of shit? Everything under the sun. Wow. <laughs> I want to find like a grove of rose bushes, um, and I like I just want to like walk alongside it and like kind of like trail my fingers over the roses, um, and like. I won't really be speaking, but essentially just, like, in my heart, just be, like, kind of, like, thanking Karametra for, like, bringing me back to some place like this. Mm -hmm. Um, and, like, that's, that's literally it. I just wanted to find some rose bushes. <laughs> cool. You absolutely do. Can I... Oh, he told me not to touch anything. Fuck, I touched it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, I touched trees, too. <laughs> oh no not the trees yeah. <laughs> um, can I find the cow place again <laughs> you find that there is along. an open yeah. field and there are several figurines there are cows there are chickens uh, there's uh, nearly every animal that you see or that you can think of uh, sort of displayed out um, in front of the shelf uh, resplendent in this sort of blanket field that you saw changed when the cows was placed on the pedestal. Um, but yeah. No, I want cows. You want cows? <laughs> oh, don't touch anything. Makes all the cows. <laughs> yeah, it was gonna go cow cows. <laughs> You grab the, the cow um, figurine, mm -hmm. place it on the pedestal? Yes. You do so. <laughs> uh, yes. It <clears throat> uh, filters out uh, in this field, uh, and you just see this large field of cows. Yay. <laughs> I want to walk in and find the nearest cow, mm -hmm. and I just want to rip up a fistful of grass and try to feed it. Go ahead and give me uh... an animal check. Oh the boy, another one you. of my favorite plus zero <laughs> skills. Let's go. Does anyone ever have good animal handling? Oh 
Oh, okay, 16. Rangers. <laughs> I've got a Dang. plus five. You grab some I one. Uh, I don't you actually see know what I have. The um, four. first cow that you kind of see, the sort of... Um, these are not like just sort of like titular like spotted cows. These are all sort of like yeah. uh, very like brown fur cows. Um, oh, yeah, and, big cows. Uh, you so are they Highland cows? They're not Highland the cows. Ones with bangs? Um, they're oh. <laughs> they more kind of like look more like ox more than anything, but they are kind of like an early oh, okay. offshoot of like cows. Beautiful. Um, and you find one, and you. Full of grass. You see several other of them uh, have, like, moved away. Um, but then there's one that sort of, like, stays behind and sort of, like, gently mm -hmm. walks up to you and just starts eating the grass out of your hand. Oh, heck yeah. He just kind of rubs his nose. Ah, oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> this isn't Deo anymore. This is Crash. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know. You're like, I want to go to Cowland. <laughs> He's both. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kind of like pat its big belly. Just kind of rub the side of the neck of the cow. Hmm. It's like home. I love Dan being a cow. <laughs> Dan is so good at being animals. Method acting. I have forced it's him incredible. to be so many in our home games. <laughs> Look at him go. That's a cow. That's a whole cow. I'm gonna Dan is, feed it Dan is realistic thing. animals. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, you can do donuts on a moose. What? <laughs> <laughs> Surely you can. Surely you can do donuts on a moose. Makes me think of the goat simulator okay. where you just but rode it wasn't just a in moose. high speed. It was James. Have you seen there's a new? It was. James. Have you seen that there's a new goat simulator? Number yes. three, yeah. It'll take me back to 20. The hammerhead shark. You on can a skateboard. play as Epixie the goat. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, she craves that mineral. Rock and roll. It's true. Is there anything else you'd like to do here, Dale? Uh no, I'm gonna feed him an extra handful of grass and then kind of bonk my forehead against its head. <laughs> oh. Mm. And then I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Ah. Can we just get, stay with Cowdan for the rest of the session? <laughs> Cowdan! Get, get a pixie to do telepathy. You heard of Cowboy. And, and now get ready. A, and oh say that God. there's a cheese feast. Um, cheese feast. Hey. Hey. Uh, cool. Uh, is there any other lines of business that uh, anybody wants? I'm the only one who hasn't done anything, and the only thing I'm going to do is basically just follow T.O. around very much acting like that. I'll help with anything, but like keeping a close eye kind of thing, and that's about yeah. it. Girl. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Uh, so as you're kind of looking like around, Tyr sort of like looks at you and he just says, "So, um, Vessi, uh, what do you think your advice would be in sort of speaking to these uh, princesses? I want to get your insight on it." It's going to be a delicate line, okay? Because like ladies don't like be like we don't like for you think that we're being like overreacting or anything like that so like take their point seriously but like don't undermine the point you know like if you get on their good side maybe you can get them to work together instead of separate you know that would be then, then don't say you know like oh i went and talked to your sister and like i don't know man she seems like she's got a better idea than yours like don't do that don't no do that yes idea. yes certainly having conversations behind the other's back would be uh, ill-advised in these situations. Anything, if there's anything like my two brothers, <laughs> honestly, they can probably just, like, duke it out with, like, you know, like a, like a head hold, and just whoever passes out first is going to be the one who wins. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I um, don't know if fighting <laughs> would be the, the, the most ideal <laughs> way to resolve. It. Uh, Let them go at it together. Don't get anybody else involved. Potentially. I, I think having everyone together discussing it would be a, a, a wise idea. Mm. Do you know anything of the city? Hey, down below that we're going to? Ooh, Abyssareth. Uh, that I, I don't know too much about. I have never visited uh, myself. Uh, there was uh, an ancient um, Kraken Lord uh, that I had fought uh, years ago, um, who had hailed from Abyssareth, but, um, 
he was not associated with the city. He was simply acting of his own accord. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I think I, I have most of what I um, deem to do. I think I'm going to get some rest before I uh, head out. <laughs> Is there anything more that you would like to discuss? You do you know anything about them? Um, Rufix? I just I asked because like the name like it kind of got thrown around some of the Argus soldiers and I just I haven't really heard much about them and I just I don't know. Go ahead and give me a deception check. Hmm. See, Dude, honey, wait, gotta... What are you hiding? <laughs> See, honey, why you gotta be asleep right now? I might have to just take her inspiration. <laughs> or you her, could use your piece as accomplice if you want. No, oh, I want to see. Oh, that's that's not a bad roll, but I want to. I feel bad when I don't use the inspos. So, Vexy, honey. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I got you. She's in the hood. She's just there. She's staying on uh -huh. me. <laughs> 100 percent stay straight stay yeah. right say hello <laughs> can't even get to her there she is <laughs> she's like what never wanted yeah. to be a rat so bad <laughs> that was so cozy just throw me in the hood <laughs> see you got me one number better sweet baby girl let's see that <laughs> is um do one for you better that is going to be an 18 because i only got a plus one cool Okay. Uh, you see T.R. as he sort of like nods and he just says, Well, uh, wouldn't we all like to know more about the God of Mystery? Fair point. <laughs> uh, they are truly, they uh, are truly uh, one of the more enigmatic uh, gods within uh, the pantheon. Being a Gatra, I, I know them to be uh, the most peculiar. Oh, weird. I didn't realize they were the god of mystery. You know, weird that the god of mystery was helping due to one of the steamroth his own teacher. Cool. Um, <coughs> sleep well. Let me go. Bye. She's gonna just like awkwardly walk down the hallway. <laughs> awkwardly walk down. Uh, and as you start to walk down, you say, well, uh, Vessi, if there's anything more that you would like uh, to talk about with me uh, directly uh, in any way, I'm more than happy to listen. T she hears the word directly, even though it's not at all, like, emphasized, but she's doing, like, the thing like she was doing with Katea. She's going... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it. And just like takes off again. <laughs> uh, rock and roll. As you uh, take off, uh, as all of you rest uh, easy for the night, preparing for your journey to the city of Abyssareth, the deepest yeah. of the Triton cities uh, within the Siren Sea. And that the worst is, fish. is where we are going to end tonight's session. Yeah! Oh. yeah. Weird Fishman! Weird Fishman. So, He's so <laughs> handsome. Thank you all so much. Uh, this has been a blast. I <laughs> oh, appreciate all of you uh, tuning in uh, to uh, the ninth episode of The Edge of Knowledge. We're on the uh, ninth? Or the ninth ninth oh my gosh. Uh, uh, so uh, tune in uh, all throughout the week we got what lurks in the dark tomorrow we got search for the spell forge on Thursday and more and more streams to come uh, so stay tuned That's and next stay tuned. week giveaway we have a giveaway, right giveaway. Right here. Right here. so giveaway. be prepared be ready <laughs> Uh, tons of fun stuff. Uh, the best way to tune in to all of these giveaways, you know, the streams, knowing everything, that's in the Discord, uh, which is the best way to uh, get it, to get it, be informed to to yeah. and also to connect with uh, all of these amazing community members. Uh, and with these giveaways, you know, 
amazing dice, amazing trays, and all that. You know, if you don't want to wait for a giveaway, head over to Missy Mountain Gaming. They got some great stuff over there. Amazing dice, amazing trays, <laughs> whole tons of stuff. Um, so tune in. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for joining in. I want to thank all the players for a, a wonderful session. Uh, oh, and yeah. if <laughs> nobody had told any of you this week at all or at any point, we just want to say here at Missy Mountain Gaming, we love you all. Uh, have a wonderful love evening. You. Love you. Good night. Oh, and we'll see you all next week. Tune in. They're going to head to an underwater city. Uh, and but... we are. Regrettably. Find out. <laughs> what is this? I can't wait. to see some fish. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, crap. I'm going to see some <laughs> awful fish. <laughs> Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 B